Class 5A postseason as uh, your Lamar rematch from early. With Drew Rosenbaum here with you tonight, and Drew Kapai Academy, but uh, boy, a uh, big chance to go to the semifinals next week. Not in Gallman. rest of the remaining part of the regular season uh this is a game now you know tonight where you know uh, offensively for kapai they've had to change up a few things they're going now obviously uh they're going to you know try to r run out of the i formation and they're going to basically try to uh, run it right at us wear us down in the second half kapai defensively they are as good as advertised they were as they were outstanding a couple weeks back and uh, they've only gotten stronger since so I really, truly believe tonight uh, we're going to see a similar uh, performance. Uh, points are going to be at a premium, and uh, this I would not be surprised if this is a 10-7, to 13-10 type of ball game, Robbie. Absolutely, and of course, uh, these two teams really slugged away at each other uh, back at Gray Cobb, uh, back during the regular season. And, you know, Drew, at that time, Lamar, of course, was clicking on all cylinders. Of course, the big win over Jackson Academy was mixed in there, the homecoming win. And then after Kapaya is when the injury bug hit Lamar. Of course, we lose Jaden Jones uh, down in Mendenhall against Simpson Academy to the ACL, MCL tear for his season to come to a close. And then a week later, we lose Ty Wiggins for the season uh, with an ACL injury. And, of course, don't forget about Gavin All. You lost him in the mix. And that just kind of describes the tail end of the season that the Raiders have been uh, bit by the injury bug. But you know what? They've kept their eyes on the road somehow, some way. They righted the ship against East Rankin. And, Drew, I'll be honest with you, I thought they played about near a complete football game as you could have played last week against Mag Hodge. Well, uh, Robbie, I totally agree. I thought that we played very well in, in all three phases of the football game, offense, defense, and special teams. But uh, that that was a uh, one of, I think, one of the best games we played all year, take away the J.A. game. But uh, but tonight we're going to need to play as good as we were last Friday night against Mag Heights. We're gonna even going to have to play better here tonight down in Gallman. Well, you heard Jacob Land talk about it, and Drew, you just talked about it as well, is the running attack of Kapai Academy. They have physical young men in that backfield. Folks, this is going to be nothing fancy. It's going to be eye formation, no. run it right down your throat, our best on your best. And let's be honest with you folks, uh, in this ball game. Lamar's best is going to be on that defensive side of the football. I mean, the Hayden Davis defense yeah. has been solid all season long. And you heard what – I'm glad Jacob Land pointed that out during the coach's interview a few moments ago. Take two explosive plays away last week, just two great throws that their quarterback made last week, Drew. You only give up seven points. I mean, yeah. that's that's really been – this defense, in a nutshell, I think this year for Lamar, I think they've played solidly all season, but it's just the explosive plays that has really been the downfall in some of the losses, especially on the road. You remember at Simpson, sure. just yeah. about every touchdown they had was on a, on a you know, play. on a busted play here or there. Same thing with Leak. And, Drew, I think that's going to be a huge key in this football game is eliminate the explosive plays. We did that the first time you played yeah. Kapaya, but obviously everybody makes some uh, tweaks, some adjustments uh, between matchup one and matchup two. But, Drew, on the defensive side ball, it's going to be one of my biggest keys of the night, eliminate the explosive plays. Well, I totally agree. And, you know, but if you think back, though, about talk about defensively the explosive plays that we were giving up during that period of time of the year, that was during the period of time that we were we had a lot of guys playing on defense for the first time. True, true. And, and so now some of those same guys will be playing defensively here tonight. They've had a few games under their yeah. belt, so I think that's something that we all everybody needs to keep in keep uh, in check. But uh, like I said, this is going to be a, a type of game where, as Rob said, it's, it's going to be two hard hitting uh, football teams at the line of scrimmage. Uh, and uh, like I said, Lamar's going to have to find a way to get some explosive plays offensively their own, and if we can do that, we uh, hopefully we'll all be happy at the end of the night. All right, you're listening to the All-Star Team Sports pregame show. We're going to step away for a two-minute timeout, and when we come back, we'll continue your pregame show as we are just minutes away from kickoff between Lamar and Kapai Academy. We'll take a two-minute break here on Lamar Raider TV and 97 OKK.
All right, welcome back inside the broadcast booth here from Gallman, Mississippi, as we continue on the All-Star Team Sports pregame show here in the quarterfinal round of the Class 5A MAIS playoffs. Of course, the pride of the Kapai Academy marching band just performed the uh, Star Spangled Banner. And Drew, we're going to have a, a feel of a marching band inside of the stadium tonight here for playoff football, which will be kind of neat. Yeah, absolutely. they got a nice band right below us to the left here, and uh, uh, they put on a nice little – uh, pre-game uh, ordeal and the performance, and uh, man, I tell you, that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a great band down there. Absolutely, sure are. So, good traveling contingent of Lamar fans across uh, the far sideline here uh, in Gallman, Mississippi. Of course, if you're not too familiar with Kapai Academy, it is uh, two hours yeah, Drew, I, I timed that out today. Exactly two hours from Meridian, Mississippi. Uh, it's about 30 miles south of uh, the Jackson area, close to the Hazelhurst community. So uh, that's where the Kapai Academy campus is at. So, But a uh, good uh, amount of folks from Meridian made the trip over here tonight uh, for this quarterfinal round matchup. Of course, uh, looks like the Lamar Raiders are making their way over on that far sideline right now, led by senior uh, wide receiver Trip Morrow. And, uh, of course, uh, during warm-ups tonight, Drew, uh, Trip was pretty loose tonight. A lot of the guys were very loose out there tonight. Uh, some guys a little more uh, kind of stone, stone-faced, stone if you want to put it that way. But uh, Trip Morrow, I think that's uh, very fitting that uh, he leads the troops out here tonight. Absolutely. Yeah, Trip Morrow is uh, obviously one of our uh, captains, uh, our leaders, and uh, – like I said, he's going obviously he's going to make some big plays for us tonight, and he's he's going to have to if we're going to get this get a huge road win here tonight. Of course, Lamar dresses in the uh, gym area right behind the press box here, and uh, it drew us amazing when we got here to campus today. Of course, we uh, mapped it out just to be sure we remember where we were going. But as soon as we topped that hill and saw campus, we were like. Okay, this is somewhat familiar because it's been a few years since we've been here to Kapai Academy. But uh, captains are meeting here at the 50-yard line now. The uh, Raiders are going to be represented. Obviously, you said it, Trip Morrow, Emery Nelson, Sean Ozane, and why not? Mr. Ballou, Geo's out there, all taped up from head to toe, ready to go in this football game tonight. And uh, representing the uh, Kapai Academy uh, Colonels tonight is Jason Courtney, their senior place kicker is out there representing the Colonels here at the 50-yard line. As uh, Of course, we'll have that neutral officiating crew like we did last week, Drew, and I'll tell you, the officials uh, we had last week oh, they were, uh, were fantastic. Yes. So you only get the best of the best uh, in the postseason uh, rounds here in the MAIS playoffs. As the bells begin to toll here in Gallman, as Kapaya has made their way out of their dressing room, they're going to be running through a big inflatable Colonel helmet over on the uh, right side of the stadium here. And let's see who's going to get the football first. Looks like Lamar has won the toss, and Jacob Land has deferred. We were talking about that before we went on the air tonight, Drew. If you win the toss, what would you do? Well, Lamar's going to send their best unit out there, and that's the defense. So, Kapai will get the football first here tonight. Yeah, I, uh, like I said, I like that right off the bat, win the coin toss and put your defense out on the field. All right, both teams are about ready to run out here on this uh, field. And, and, Drew, it's been kind of a quiet pregame other than the performance by the band. I think everybody's kind of sitting on pins and needles waiting for this thing to get kicked off here tonight. I, I totally agree. I mean, this is a bo both both sides. They know that uh, this is that time of the year where, you know, you lose, you're, you're getting ready for uh, basketball season. Absolutely. All right, both teams about ready to run <laughs> over to their respective sidelines. Kapai over on the right side of the stadium. Their locker room is across the field over in that big corner over there, close to uh, right, right adjacent to the baseball field. Here comes the Lamar Raiders running out first. They're running out to the far sideline, dressed in all white here tonight. The road white uniforms, white jerseys, white pants with the blue numerals and blue headgear with that scripted Lamar across each side, led by Coach Jacob Land and his magnificent coaching staff. And uh, here come the Kapai Academy Colonels. Uh, they're dressed in red tonight, red jerseys, red pants, white numerals, and their white headgear uh, with the Kapai logo across each side. And, Drew, we're just moments away from kickoff. I'm dying to hear the keys to a Lamar win tonight. Well, keys for a Lamar victory here tonight offensively. Uh, I think that uh, we've a game like this where you know points are going to be at a premium, I think, uh, field position is critical. I, I, it's, I mean, absolutely critical that we win uh, the field position battle. And uh, like I said, uh, and we got to 
uh, win on uh, third downs. We've got to we got to uh, advance the ball vertically down the field, and if we do that, we've got a good chance at victory. Eliminate the explosive plays on defense, pre-snap penalties, dead gummit. We've yeah. got to cut those out here tonight. And Drew, who's going to make that one more play? You know, in the postseason, I talked about it on Monday night at uh, the Mugshots Coaches Show. Sometimes in a ball game like this, who makes that one mistake? Who's yeah. going to make the big mistake here tonight that someone's going to cash in on? Because when you get into postseason ball. What does that mean, Drew? It's big boy football it's time. Exactly right. You just added another chin strap, and that this is a double chin strap game right tonight here, folks. Uh, like I said, uh, points are, like I said, these are these two offenses are, you know, they know how to put up points, but uh, they they their bread and butter. These two teams is on the defensive side of the ball, so it's good. we're going to see some fireworks tonight. So, folks, sit back. Get you a nice warm cup of coffee and get ready, folks, because uh, this is going to be a, a train wreck once again at the line of scrimmage. Well, we're going to go with the Mac Barnes kickoff time of just before 7 o'clock tonight. That was always a Mac Barnes joke. We get started a little early, so we're going to do that here tonight. As Trip Morrow will do the honors from the 40-yard line. Folks, the quarterfinal round is officially underway. It's going to be a relatively short kick that Kapaya is going to field just inside the 25-yard line. Colonels are going to try to cross the 25, and they're going to lose their footing across that area and finally the Raiders led by Drew Mitchell and Thomas Bryan will take down the returner just shy of the 30 yard line and Drew here comes that Kapaya offense that run down the hill Kapaya offense well for Lamar defensively I mean the last two ball games have, have really uh have, have really uh, turned the corner uh toward the end of the year uh, defensively really doing a nice job of open field tackling and uh, not giving up the explosive plays down the field all right, once again, the freshman quarterback, yep, he is back there. It's Austin Banks, the second under center, and right out of the eye formation, they run it right into the teeth of that Lamar defense. And initially, Lamar had the back stopped at about the 30-yard line, but Raiders will finally bring him down. That is Jake Ainsworth on the carry. He'll cross the 30 up to around the 32, gain of three. Yeah, I mean, Ainsworth really got hit the line of scrimmage right there and uh, was stopped, but apparently he, he kept the legs uh, going and picked up about uh, – two, maybe even three yards. All right, it'll be second down and seven. Ball game just underway here at the top of the hour of 7 o'clock. Banks will be under center. I formation once again. Only one wide receiver and a tight end in the formation here for the Colonels, and they'll run it right into the teeth of that Raider defense again, and this time they're only going to gain about two up to the 34-yard line. Drew is like a big wave coming at the back here. So the first big third down of the night, third down in a short five. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is a passing down situation right here for uh, Kapaya here. And, uh, you know, this is, uh, you know, Kapaya is not known for their throwing ability. They're, they're going to try to, I mean, they, uh, they're going to try to run it right at us. At the first two plays of the game, they, they, they uh, got five yards. So, uh, but uh, got to get keep the play in front of us. Do not bust of coverage. Two receivers to the near side on third down and oh, five, moved, and the moved. fullback definitely moved on the play, and they're going to complete the pass up for a first down up at around the 40-yard line, but the fullback obviously moved early, so that is going to be a big pre-snap penalty on Kapai Academy. Erase the first down uh, pass completion, and that's going to make it third and ten. Yeah, pretty obvious the fullback move right yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, they had, I believe, two men in motion right there. And uh, an illegal shift on uh, yeah. Kapaya Academy, and uh, that'll back them up to a third and long situation. And this is exactly where Lamar has to put Kapaya here tonight. It'll be third down and 10 from back what was the original line of scrimmage, back at the 29 yard line. Ainsworth's going to check back in in the backfield, wearing number four, and Austin Banks the second. This is another big star in the making in our district. Uh, he is just a ninth grader. It'll be interesting right here to see if Coach Hayden Davis brings a blitz right here, uh, brings some pressure. All right, Kapai will break huddle. I know that's a foreign concept. With one receiver to the near side, they will pass it here. One-on-one coverage, and... Yeah, we got there a little early, Drew. No doubt about it. Cooper Gordy got there just a little bit early on the would-be receiver down here at about the 38-yard line. That's an obvious P.I. Uh, on the Raiders. And he really didn't have to. I mean, he just – he if he, all he had to do was just uh, trust his technique right there, but uh, he panicked and uh, reached his right hand around uh, the body of the wide receiver a little bit early, and uh, that was an obvious P.I. right there on uh, – Cooper Gordy and the Lamar Raiders move the sticks for Kapaya, first down and 10. Boy, that's frustrating for the Raiders because you had them third and 10, and, uh, boy, bailed them out on a penalty. So 
Third, uh, third down is now first down. First down for the Colonels just inside their own 45-yard line. Banks under center now. They're going to pitch it down here to the near side. Yeah. Nice oh. job by the Raiders fighting off that block, and they're going to drop the back at around the 40-yard line. I tell you what, I believe that might have been Mar – that was Nelson. Yeah, Emory Nelson came in to make the stop. Four-yard loss. Boy, we fought that block beautifully. He, he did. That is a picture-perfect example of, of, of getting off your block right there by Emory Nelson – Fought off his block and was uh, just outstanding uh, defensive play by Nelson. So you got him out of schedule now. Second down and 14 from back at their 40. And they're going to run the football again down here to the near side. Oh, boy, they got the edge. And, boy, here we go. 35 down to the 30. Cut down to the 25 and an explosive play all the way down to the Lamar 25-yard line. No laundry. First down, Colonels. Boy, I tell you what, that was a nice cut there. A couple of cuts there by a Graver there, and, uh, boy, that was a nice run. Well, Graver, you know, was just able to cut the corner on the short side, and once he did that, uh, he he was off and, ru off and running there. And they or Grayer, used, excuse me. Uh, Grayer, and uh, just simply, I mean, got about, about 30 yards, moved the first and 10, uh, Kapai at the Lamar 25. From the Raider 25, and here is the handoff, and Grayer's going to get some more yardage down inside the 20. Boy, the physicality by the Colonels all the way down close to the 16-yard line. So that is a big chunk play right there. That may be close to another first down. Actually give him about maybe eight or nine yards right there. Well, that was an off-tackle run off the left side uh, by Grayer. And uh, just, I mean, <laughs> I mean, this young man, I mean, he's very, very good running back for uh, – Kapaya, but he, he's got incredible, incredible leg strength. 8-19 and counting to go. Opening possession of the ball game, and Kapai's on the move just outside the Lamar 15, near side, and nice shoestring tackle there to save the touchdown there by Gordy as Grayer's going to get down uh, to around the Lamar 10, maybe the 9-yard line, move the sticks for Kapai, and right now, Drew, they're hitting us on the edges and hitting some big yards. Yeah, they really are. I mean, it's, it's, it's not a secret. I mean, it, Kapai, we knew they were going to line it up, come right at us, and that's exactly uh, uh, what they've done on this particular drive. Under eight to go, first quarter, no score, but they're knocking on the door inside the 10. Here is another handoff right in the teeth of that Lamar defense. This time, Grayer's going to get down close to the five-yard line. That'll be a pickup of a handful, second and goal from that point. Well, I mean, like I said, <laughs> Uh, they, it's, it's no secret, Kapaya, they're going to run it right at us. They're going to try to wear us down in the second half. We're going to have to make some adjustments. Drew, this is the guy that scares me, Cole, 28. This is the big heavy back right here. They're going to check him into the ball game, and, Drew, we know what he is. He's a bulldozer. Well, he's, he, he's, he's the thunder to the lightning. From the five, here's Cole, and he is going to run over a couple of Raiders and score quite easily. That's a five-yard score for Cole, and just like that, Kapaya takes it all the way down the field, opening possession, and it's already 6 nothing. Kapaya just like that. Well, and that's uh, not an ominous uh, sight if you're a Lamar Raider fan right now. That just simply Kapaya just ran right down our throats on the opening drive. Uh, in about seven plays, they uh, find the end zone. Uh, 6 nothing. Kapai We're just waiting on the PAT with 7-17 left to go in, in the first quarter. Austin Baker will do the honors to try to make it 7 nothing. Snapback is good. Kick is on the way, and the kick is true for the Colonels. So 7-17 to go opening quarter. Raiders behind the eight ball, 7 nothing. We'll take a quick 30-second timeout. Back with more after this here on Lamar Raider TV and 97 OKK. Kapai Academy scores on a five-yard run by Cole. Extra point by Baker is good, and just like that, it's seven nothing. Kapai with seven seventeen to go in the opening quarter. Yeah, Kapai went about, like I said, about eight plays, uh, seventy yards uh, on that opening drive, and that, it was basically all runs except for one play, and uh, not the start that, uh, mm -hmm. from a defensive standpoint, that you would have thought uh, we would have had by our defense. 
And we had him third and ten at one point, and obviously the pass interference call uh, was a big one. It uh, equal to first down to keep the drive alive. Here's the kick to uh, Morrow. He's across the 20, trying to cut it back here to the near side. Nice special teams coverage there by the Colonels coming in there to make the tackle. Uh, is 31. I don't have a 31 on this roster, but he made the stop there, and uh, the Colonels covered it well, and the Raiders will have it first and 10 just outside of the 20-yard line, and Drew, here comes a 2,000-yard passer in Wyatt Bond. Well, you know, for, for Lamar offensively, Wyatt Bond's going to have to have a big game. Let's face it, he, I think he's going to have to at least go between 250, 300 yards tonight in the air. Just outside of the Raider 20-yard line, Raiders are moving left to right as you listen on the broadcast. Play action fake, Bond, clean pocket, throws it down here tomorrow, makes the catch, and Tripp is going to be tripped up, no pun intended, just shy of the 30-yard line. That's going to be a gain of a handful right there. Nice, easy throw out of the gate. Absolutely. Keep things simple for Wyatt Bond, and when we do that, we've done that the last several games. Uh, you know, start out just the easy, smooth throws and get him in rhythm. I like it. Six-yard gain, second down and four for the Raiders now. Ball is resting just beyond the 25-yard line, and Bond is going to run with the football. That was kind of an option-type play. He might have got maybe back to the line of scrimmage, maybe a half a yard. That was a little unusual. I think somebody messed up, obviously, down there. I don't know if it was one of the wide receivers or what, but that looked like a a miscommunication uh, big time. Uh, uh, with one uh, quarterback to wide receiver, but uh, St- Lamar's got a third down and four right here. Bond in the shotgun, Sully Reed at the H back spot, Kellen Curley in the backfield. You got Morrow to the near side and a couple of receivers out to the far side. Jacob Landon staff go through the signals for Wyatt Bond as he stands in the shotgun. Curley will shift to the other side of Wyatt Bond on this third down and four play. Play action fake. Bond steps up, throws it across the field, and it is incomplete. There wasn't a Raider within five yards of that would-be pass completion. I think the closest guy in the area was Jonathan Hart, and that was about it. Boy, that's the last thing you needed is a quick three and out. Yep, that's not that uh, that's, that's not, not good. Get, that's not good. That, that, that's not going to get it done right there. I don't know what happened, but uh, nonetheless, uh, I don't know if Jonathan, uh, Mr. Hart thought that he, he wasn't getting the ball there, but, I, you know, like I said, because he looked like he was blocking down the field from this from this angle, but uh, nonetheless, Lamar offensively goes three and out. And now an ugly snap to Bond, and Bond's going to have to kick this thing away, and he just does. Oh, now, now Kapai touched the football, and now they're going to recover it. Ball is free again, but Kapai is going to have it at the Lamar 28-yard line. That was about the ugliest sequence of special teams ever. Low snap to Bond. He kicks it. It touches a Kapaya player up at about the 32. They recover it and somehow get it down to the Lamar 28. That was about the ugliest sequence. Last thing the Raiders needed, Drew, they didn't go down as a turnover, but it feels like one. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, like I said, just a horrendous start by our Lamar Raiders here to start this ball game. Not exactly what we wanted at all. And our guys need to kind of, like I said, take, need, everybody needs to take a deep breath and uh, uh, relax and uh, start this thing over because uh, right now Lamar trailing 7 nothing with, with 5.48 left to go in the first quarter. Other uh, Lamar, uh, Kapai, they've come out like a house on fire, and uh, Lamar's going to have to respond. All right, the head official is going over to the far sideline to discuss something with Jacob Landry. Of course, the ball was touched. Uh, when Bond kicked the thing away, and I think they're trying to get the spot kind of situated right here. I'm assuming that's what they're doing. Right now they got the ball spotted at the 29-yard line of Lamar. So not sure what that discussion was about, but we'll play on here as Banks will get uh, the Kapai offense back to work. Boy, you talk about a time for them to slip on a banana peel and fumble something right here. You need something to go your way. Yeah, ain't no question about it. Uh, If there was a way that we can get a turnover right here. We need Lamar needs something. Banks under center, one receiver out to the far side. They're going to go back to Ainsworth here on the near side. He makes one vicious cut, and he's gone. 29-yard touchdown for the Colonels. He had one man down there in the corner to beat, and just like that, folks, what doesn't go down as a turnover felt like one, and one play later, 29 yards later, the Raiders are down by two scores, 13 to nothing, the most disastrous start you could have ever imagined. Well, uh, yeah, a horrible start, but guess what? Think back to the game last Friday night. Uh, we jumped out to uh, Mag Heights, 14 nothing right off the bat. They came back and tied it. Let's see if our Lamar Raiders can come back and do the same thing. 
Baker getting set to kick the extra point here. Snapback is clean. The kick is on the way, and the kick is absolutely perfect. So with 5.39 to go here in the first quarter, not looking good so far. Lamar trailing 14 to nothing on the Will Sweat Alpha Insurance scoreboard. And uh, back in just a quick 30 seconds here on Lamar Raider TV and 97 OKK. With 5.39 to go here in the opening quarter, Kapai Academy scores again. It's 14-0. Drew, during the timeout, <laughs> Jacob Land got the football team together. Yeah, he uh, needless to say, if, if the, the Lamar Raider football team wasn't awake, they're awake now because they all got lit up like a Christmas tree on Christmas morning. He absolutely tore them a new one, and then that's exactly what he probably should have done. Uh, this Lamar Raiders team has uh, been sleepwalking uh, to start this ball game. And uh, if they're not careful, we're going to get blown out. Big possession here. This may be the biggest possession of the season right here as Raiders getting ready to get their hands potentially back on the football here. Pretty good kick down into the far corner here. And Morrow will return it from the 6. He's up to the 10, the 15, the 20, the 25. And he will be slung out of bounds up near the 25. That's exactly where they're going to mark him out of bounds. So here comes White Bond in the offense after a quick three and out. Let's see what they do in the second possession from the Lamar 25. Well, we got, you know, Lamar, they we just got to forget uh, everything that has happened to this point and just uh, try to get a first down, try to get another one. Yeah, we got to get some positive things going. If not, it's going to be ugly. <laughs> All right, from the 25, let's see the skill guys. You got Harrington, Hart, Morrow, and Reed. Bunch set to each side of the line of scrimmage with Curley in the backfield, and the Lamar Raiders will throw the football on play action. Bond is under a lot of pressure. He's going to throw off balance down the field, and oh, he's he caught by Morrow. And, yes, they're going to say he made the catch wow. up at midfield. Wow. How Morrow made that catch and drug a foot. He did it at midfield, and maybe that's the play that will spark Lamar. That maybe so, because they needed something to wake him up. And uh, I, I don't know how uh, Tripp Morrow uh, – <coughs> Uh, caught that, but he did, and uh, first and ten, Lamar, nose of the football, touching the 50. 30-yard gain on that uh, completion there, and Bond back to throw again. Plenty of time, throws it across the middle, and it is incomplete. Probably one that Tripp would want back, probably should have caught it at the first down marker at the 40, so incomplete pass and second and ten. In his mind, he had already caught it and was looking up the field, and uh, and uh, and just the ball went right uh, through his hands. Got to catch that one. Second and ten for midfield now here on the near hash mark as Lamar moves left to right as you listen. Curley's going to split out here to the near side now at wide out. And Morrow is in motion across the line of scrimmage. And Bond looks, fires it down the field, and it is nearly it picked off. The safety almost read that one and picked it off. They were looking for Morrow down the middle of the field, incomplete, and now you're behind schedule third and ten. Yeah, that's a, that's a play right there where uh, uh, Wyatt, he's got to look where the safety is. I mean, he just absolutely, uh, I mean, that was, I don't know how that didn't get picked off. I, obviously, Witt did not see the, the safety coming over, but uh, he's got to see that. And uh, Lamar was very fortunate right there that that wasn't a uh, interception. 5.13 to go opening quarter on the Will Sweat Alpha Insurance scoreboard. It's 14 to nothing, Kapaya. Yes, in the first quarter. Raiders facing a critical third down and 10 from right at midfield. Near hash mark for Wyatt Bond in the shotgun. Morrow on one side and another receiver on the far side. Play action fake. Bond steps up. He's running out of real estate. He might try to tuck it and run with it, and Bond will, but he's only going to get down to maybe the 46-yard line, maybe the 45. It'll be a gain of five. And, Drew, I'll be honest with you, I think you got to go right I here. I totally agree. I totally agree. Uh, you got to got to make a play offensively. you got to uh, move the sticks. you got to get back some of the momentum that Kapai has right now. So now it goes to a fourth down and five. Nose is just touching the Kapai 45. Where do you go right Sully here? Sully Reed up the scene. All right, you got Sully at the H-back. Harrington and Morrow lined up here to the near side at wide receiver. 
Curley is the tailback. Bond in the shotgun. On fourth down and five, Bond throws it, and it is to Trent Mara right at the sticks, and it should be a first okay. down right at the 40. I mean, he got right to the 40-yard line, that's okay. and that's going to definitely be a first down. Yep, move the chains. Big throw by Bond tomorrow. Yep, that was a huge, big-time throw right there. And uh, like I said, if we don't get that, it might, it could very easily be lights out uh, early in this ball game. Whew. Big throw, big completion, keeps the drive alive. First and 10 from the Kapaya 40. Folks, it just barely got to the 40. Bond in the shotgun, one receiver to each side, and here's the first touch of the night by Curley, and he trips on a banana peel in the backfield and gets back to the line of scrimmage. And, Drew, let's call it is what it is. This is not the best playing surface in America. No, nah, it's really not. But, you know, I mean, we're not going to run all, We're not gonna run a lot here tonight, but we got to run enough to keep the defense from Kampaya honest. Uh, but, uh, we, you know, they know that Jane Jones is not uh, playing yep. tonight. They know that. And uh, they know that Lamar is going to come here, and we're going to, if we're going to win, we're going to throw the football all over the lot. Second and ten from the 40 now. Four wide receivers here for Bond. Under some pressure, gets rid of the football, and it is incomplete. Another one trip probably should have caught down at the 30-yard line. Well, we got a flag near the third on the third round, the 36-yard line on the far side. Somebody of the might have been holding trip out of that break, maybe on his route. Let's wait and see what we got here. Where it was thrown, that's the only that's call, call I think it could be, is when Tripp made his break in the route, he might have got tugged by the jersey. They're marching it ahead, and that's exactly that's what good. it's going to be, a hold on Kapai Academy. I thought when Tripp broke out of his route, Drew, that he got tugged just a little bit. It wasn't much, but it was enough for them to throw a flag. First down, Raiders down at the Kapai 30. Yeah, that was a, a big penalty right there for Kapai because that gave uh, Lamar a first down. So ball spotted at the uh, Kapai 30-yard line. Morrow, Harrington, and Hart down here to the near side. Reed is the H back along with Curley in the backfield on first and 10 from the 30. Play action fake. Bond is under pressure, and he's going to get sacked back at the 35-yard line. Coming in there to make the uh, sack there was number 40. That is Jordan Scott. He came in virtually untouched, and it'll be second and 15. Yeah, the offensive line, that, that, they got to do a better job than that. that, that you got to give White uh, uh, some time to throw the ball right there, and uh, Scott – Come, came from Kampaya, just came pretty, basically untouched in, in the Lamar backfield. We're just under three minutes to go here in the first quarter. Kampaya 14, Lamar 0, but the Raiders are trying to get on the board here on second and 15 from the Colonel 35-yard line on the far hash mark. Bond checks off to a fresh play. He's only got five seconds on the play clock, and Jacob Lamb may have to burn a timeout. He's going to have to burn a timeout, and he was begging for the timeout and finally got it. So we've got timeout on the field with 2.37 to go in the first quarter. It is 14-0 at Kapai Academy, back after a 30-second timeout on Lamar Raider TV and 97 OKK. All right, second down and 15 after the Lamar Raider timeout. And Sean Ozane has now checked into the lineup, Drew, for the first time tonight on second and 15. I was getting to wonder where he was at. Bond from the 35 in the shotgun. Two receivers to each side here. Play action. Obvious uh, pass interference, yeah. and there's the late penalty flag. The referee had to really dig down into his breeches to throw that one, and that is an obvious P.I. in the end zone as Tripp absolutely, in the words of our good friend Jack Crystal, he got mugged. Yeah, he, <laughs> he got mugged for sure. Uh, but I think the official was trying to reach for the flag. He couldn't, couldn't find get it. it. Yeah, he couldn't get it out. But uh, that was an obvious P.I. right there on Kapai. And, uh, man, folks, Lamar has got to – and they've got to get seven out of this drive right here. If they don't, it's, it's, it could be, it's, it's very critical for Lamar to get seven here. And the reason that's a big penalty, folks, because it is a 15-yard penalty 
and it was second and 15. So move the sticks for Lamar first down. Drew, first trip to the red zone right at the 20. Again, I, I can't say it enough. We have got to get this in the end zone for seven right here. All right, let's check the personnel here. Harrington and Ozane to the near side. Morrow and Reed out to the far side. All right, Curley in the backfield now along with Wyatt Bond from the 20. Play action fake. Bond steps up in the pocket, throws across the middle, and drops. Right. It's, it's, that was a fastball. Trips got to catch that football in the end zone incomplete. That, that, that's a touchdown right there. That, that, is, a, I'm sorry, that is a touchdown yep. right there. You could, not have, you could not have thrown a better ball if you walked out there and just put it in Trips' hands. Trip, you got to catch that. All right, so eliminate what would have been a touchdown. Trip had what drew a good two steps on his man, yeah, too. Yeah, I, so. mean, I mean, that was a perfect throw. Harrington Hart and Morrow to the near side. No receivers to the far side on second and 10 from the Kapaya 20. 14-0 Kapaya with 2.24 to go here in the first quarter. Hart in motion. Play action fake again. Throws it across the middle, and it is in and out of the hands of Jonathan Hart and almost intercepted on the back end by the safety. And now you're behind schedule well, third and it, 10. And we're also going to be penalized five yards for an illegal shift because Hart, Hart turned up the field right before the snap. And if I'm Kapai, I'd decline the yeah, damn thing. Yeah, I was going to say decline it, make it third third down and 10. All right, they're over here discussing that with the Kapai coaching staff as the clock is stopped after the incompletion and penalty with 2.19 to go. And there is the shift call against Lamar, and it will be declined. So that will bring up third down and 10. So, Drew, I'm sorry. It's two downs or bust right here. I, I totally agree. I, I mean, field goal right now, I mean, that, that's, that's a win for Kapai. Uh, but Lamar, they've got they've got to punch this uh, in the end zone. From the twenty on third and ten, you got Hart out to the far side, a bunch set of receivers to the near side of the line of scrimmage. That is Harrington, Reed, and Morrow. Morrow splits out to the near side now. Bond looks under pressure, runs out to the far side, throws it into the back of the end zone and incomplete. He went to Hart again. But in and out of his hands, incomplete. And that was a pretty tough uh, catch to be made there by Hart, but it went right in and out of his hands, fourth down. Wide bond. We got, apparently we got a flag again right here on the, around the 22-yard line. So let's wait and see what, 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 what happens here. And uh, the way they're discussing this is going to be against Lamar again. So obviously if you're Kapaya, you want to decline this thing and make it fourth down in 10. But, Robbie, either way, I mean, somebody – you know, another, another another illegal shift. Another illegal shift and decline the penalty fourth down. Somebody, uh, one of our wide receivers down there has got to step up and catch the ball. Wyatt Bond is putting them out there where our guy should be catching these balls. Oh, he's yeah, putting them he's, he's he's right on, there. Yeah, he's putting we've them got on the money. To, we've got to help uh, Wyatt Bond and catch, catch the ball. Why McBrayer checks into the lineup now at receiver. Reed, McBrayer, and Morrow to the near side, and we've got Harrington out to the far side. Bond steps up, running out of real estate, and he's going to be sacked. He's going to be sacked, and just like that, the Raiders will turn it over on downs. And Drew, what was a promising drive is flushed down the you-know-where, and after a turnover on downs with 2.04 to go here in the first quarter, it is 14-0 Kapaya, and now... You are looking dead in the eye of some danger. Well, the the only the only if there's a plus side of that, the defense had some time to make some adjustments on the sideline and and, and get a little rest. But offensively, you know, I mean, that's just I mean a kick to the gut. You had a nice drive going right there, and you just couldn't finish. You, uh, uh, wide Bond put some balls right where they needed to be, and our wide receivers did not help him at all. All right, first down after the sack, turnover on downs, moving right to left go. The Colonels now with 2.04 to go here in the first quarter. They'll keep it on the ground with Ainsworth, and the Raiders will meet him at around the 28, maybe the 28 and a half. Nice job there by the Raiders in uh, on defense there. Coming in there to make the stop was Ozane, and that'll be a gain of about a yard, maybe a yard and a half. Nice stop. Yeah, it is imperative that the Lamar defense gets a stop right here. Uh, we cannot. We just if we get down three scores, folks. It, it, it's uh, that's too big it, of a hill. It, it, I, yeah, I think with the, the with the guys that we have on the field, I, I, we cannot we cannot get down three scores. Ninety seconds to go here in the first quarter on second down and nine. Boy, they got some heavies checking into the ball game now. 
to try to block here because you know they're going to run the football with Ainsworth. But this time, no matter heavies or not, the Raiders come in there led by Nelson and Bryan and company, and along with I think maybe even Rancier might have been in there as well. No gain, third and nine. Yeah, big, big defensive play right there. will set up a third down and nine for Kapaya. And uh, needless to say, I mean, this has got to get, make another stop right here and uh, make Kapaya punt the ball away. We're under one minute to play here in the first quarter, 14 to nothing. Kapaya Academy, they will be facing a third down and nine from inside their 28-yard line. They're moving personnel all across their line of scrimmage. They're a little discombobulated right here. They're moving folks all over the place, Drew. Yeah, they, don't, they, they look very discombobulated. Play action fake. We're bringing a blitz. Passes down the field. Are they going to throw the flag? No, no. No, no they did no. not. I was wondering if they were going to throw the flag or not. Kapaya wanted it. Cooper uh, Gordy was down uh, the field in coverage, but I'm like you. The pass was a little uncatchable. It was about five yards down the field. So, hey, the Raiders got to stop boy, three and out. Boy, boy, I mean, like I said, that was a huge defensive stop by the Raiders. As uh, Like I said, uh, should get uh, really good field position out out of this too as well i tell you what drew uh, i don't know if i've used all my mulligans up this season but i'd love to see a snap over his head or something right here yeah i wouldn't mind that at all <clears throat> something to go positively in your way special teams could the raiders score on special teams here here's the kick away it will be fielded by morrow just barely at the 42 yard line trip is in Kapai territory 40 and boy he just <laughs> He just met somebody face-to-face and knocked him backwards, and Tripp is going to give Lamar excellent field position at the Colonel 40-yard line. First and 10 from that point, 24 seconds to go first quarter. Yeah, I like right there how Tripp Morrow finished the run right there as he lowered the shoulder at about the 40, and that's exactly where uh, uh, Lamar will start this offensive possession. And, again, Lamar's got great field position. we got to uh, capitalize and get points here. Ashton Jones checks into the backfield for the first time tonight. The phenom freshman next to Wyatt Bond. Here's his first touch of the night, and Ashton's going to sneak through and get a handful of yards. Like I said, you lose him in that scrum sometimes, and he'll gain about three. Well, he's not, like I said, he's not very big, but he makes up for it with uh, his uh, vision and his patience uh, running the ball. This young man gets in the secondary, folks. He can take it to the house. And, folks, that is going to be the final play of the first quarter. So we played one here in Gallman tonight, and your score is Kapai Academy 14, Lamar 0. Back after a one-minute timeout here on Lamar Raider TV and 97 OKK. As we resume the second quarter, first play for the Raiders trailing 14 to nothing. Bond is running for his life here trying to throw the football. Bond still throw running away. for his life. You got to throw it away, Wyatt. You got to throw it away, son. He's going to throw it down the field incomplete out of bounds. That was almost a back lot, a yard sandlot play. He ran all the way back on the other side of the 50. So that's the way the second quarter starts, but it will be a third down and seven. Well, I mean, right there, Wyatt, I mean, he, there was nobody open down the field. And Wyatt, of course, God bless him, he's running for his life. Because, uh, I mean, it seems like, I mean, uh, Wyatt has been running all over the place so far in this ball game. His offensive line is not giving him the time to throw the ball. 
All right, critical third down and seven. It seems like we said critical a lot here in this first half. It'll be third down and seven. Ball is spotted at the Colonel 37-yard line here on the near hash. Raiders moving right to left now as you listen to the broadcast here on OKK. Third down and seven. Bond throws it, and it is incomplete. Threw it uh, down toward Ty Harrington. Harrington broke down toward the middle. Ball went outside. Fourth and seven. Yeah, now that was that was a, that was a poor throw there by by Wyatt Bond and uh, with Lamar fourth down and seven. We just kicked off the uh, second quarter with Kapai leading fourteen to nothing. Uh, like I said, somebody, somebody, who's it going to be? Somebody down there for Lamar offensively has got to step up and and and, and make a play. I mean, it, it just it's that it's that time. It's, it's you're down, you're trailing fourteen to nothing. And uh, you've got really good field position, but Lamar's got a fourth and seven right here. Got to take advantage. Somebody step up and make a big. One to the near side, and we have a timeout called by the Raiders. So the second charge timeout as the play clock was running thin. We'll keep things right here on the broadcast with 11.41 to go here in the second quarter. Drew, it'll be fourth down and seven from the Kapaya 37-yard line. And right now, I mean, basically the offense for the Raiders has been uh, trip Morrow or bust. And I'll be honest with you right now, somebody else has got to uh, – Got to contribute that, here. That's, that's not going to get it. I, it's, I, I don't know. I don't know why, but uh, that just trip Morrow and then everybody else. That's not going to. That's not going to beat Kapaya Academy tonight. And and somebody uh, other than uh, Trip Morrow is going to have to step up and catch the ball or make a play offensively. Uh, if, if 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 our quarterback puts it out there, if your two hands can catch the ball, catch it. All right, after the timeout, the Raiders once again will have it fourth down and seven from the 37 here on the near hash mark in Colonel Territory. Skill guys for the Raiders, Ashton Jones, the freshman phenom in the backfield. Reed will be the H back. You got Harrington Morrow lined up on the near side or the far side of the line of scrimmage. So drew that bunch set on each side of the line of scrimmage right at the line. I'm looking at Sully Reed. Fourth and seven here for Wyatt Bond and the troops. Play action fake. He looks, looks. He has plenty of time. Still looking. Fires it down the field, and it is incomplete. They were looking for Trip Morrow. He tried to squeeze it down there to Trip Morrow. We've got a penalty marker down back here I, I, at the I 46. That, I, this I, may be a late hit on Kapai Academy. Yeah, I, I, believe that, I believe that's exactly what it's going to be, and that's going to give Lamar Raider a, uh, a big first down. Wyatt Bond is not feeling too good after that late hit. Yep, there is the flag resting at the 46, and you darn right, roughing the passer, and that'll give Lamar a new set of downs. Some fresh life here with 11.32 to go. Let's wow. check on Wyatt. He was pretty woozy when he got yeah, up. Yeah, he got hit hard after the play, and uh, like I said, uh, a big-time roughing the passer call on Kampai, and, man, that penalty right there alone might keep Lamar in this ball game. Move it down to the 22-yard line, Drew. You got to execute. You got to right. execute when you got a fresh set of downs, thanks to a gimme penalty right Absolutely. there. Absolutely. I mean, right now Lamar has got to take advantage right here. First and ten at the Capaya 22-yard line. Pistol formation. Jones is in the backfield. Couple of receivers out to the far side. A tight end down here to the near side. That it being Reed and Ashton Jones is gobbled up. Not a lot going there. And Drew, I'm just gonna. This may be the most truthful broadcast of 2023. Offensive line's getting whipped right now. Yeah, uh, no doubt about it. They're, they're uh, just they're, as good as they were uh, last Friday night. They are about the opposite at, to this point of the ball game here here tonight. Uh, not, uh, but uh, it's long long way to go. There's a lot more ball to be played, but they're going to have to play better. Jones checks out. Curley checks in. You got Harrington and Morrow out to the far side. Reed is at the tight end down to the near side of the line of scrimmage. See if Sully Reed gets a touch right here, maybe. On second and 10 from the 22. Bond waiting on the snap here from Nate Lee. Here's the play action fake. It was a great one. Bond over into the corner of the end zone. Ball is lofted up there, and it is in a lot of traffic. We had two receivers down there, one of them being Trip Morrow and the other being Sully Reed. And, Drew, that was incomplete. There's just a lot of traffic down there. Yeah, we had uh, one of our uh... – <laughs> Uh, wide receivers had to run the wrong route right there because we had two wide receivers in the same area where the ball was thrown, and that was very dangerous because uh, Kapaya had about three to four guys in that general area, and we're lucky that ball wasn't picked off. Drew, we got to win better on first down because now you look up, it's third and ten. I ain't no question. We have stayed behind schedule pretty much the entire first half. Third and ten from the Kapaya 22. 
Bond claps his hands in the shotgun with Curley in the backfield. And Bond is running for his life again. Throws it down to Sully Reed. And is that going to be a pass or a fumble? It should be a pass the way he shuffled it forward towards Sully Reed, and that's exactly what they're going to call. And, Drew, that was about his only option because he's about, he about to get knocked on his rear end again. Absolutely. I mean, that's as smart as you can be. I mean, he, he saw where he, his tight end was in the neighborhood and just backhanded it toward in, in uh, his direction. And, uh, and the officials bought it. And, uh, and that because that was that would have been a colossal quarterback sack. That would have been a loss of about 15 yards. Instead, Lamar's going to go for it. Uh, fourth down and ten. With ten and a half minutes to go in the second quarter, Kapaya 14, Lamar we're zero. Gonna, gonna Raiders another. going to burn their third time out here. The play clock is down to one, and the Raiders are going to actually get a delay of game penalty. The flag flew, but are they going to grant the timeout though? I, I think they are. I think I they're, they're going to grant the timeout. Boy, that is your third charge timeout already with ten and a half minutes to go here in the second quarter. And actually, Kapaya, they're signaling that Kapaya took the timeout. Oh, okay. That don't make a lick of sense if that's what they did. But evidently, they may, they may have not had the right personnel in the field defense. So that's what the official just signaled. Okay, well, that's a huge break for Lamar again. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. So if that's the case, then Kapaya's down to two timeouts, and Lamar can hang on to that final timeout. That's what the official signaled, so we'll go with what he said. So Drew, fourth down and 10 from the 22, and, boy, it seems like we said fourth down and 10 a lot. Yeah, absolutely. It's just offensively for okay. Lamar. I think Gavin just told us Lamar did in there. Okay. I was going to say, that it made no sense for Kapaya to call that timeout. And now we've got whistles here as both teams are back on the field right here. They may reset the play clock, and they will. So good mechanics there by the officiating crew. Fourth down and 10 from the 22. Pistol formation curly in the backfield. Obvious passing situation. Play action fake on a bootleg out to the far side, and it is caught, but it's going to be well short of the first down at around the 14-yard line. You had to get down near the 12, so gain of eight, turnover on downs. But we got a penalty oh, marker a down at around the 17. So let's check that, on this. That's in the secondary of Kapaya, so let's wait and see. Ineligible man downfield, so decline it, turnover on downs, and the Raiders once again cannot do anything with the football. And, Drew, it's, it's pretty simple right now for the Raiders on offense. When you get behind schedule immediately on first down and then when you don't get anything on second down, you put yourselves in a real big hole on third down. The Raiders just can't seem to get out of their own well, way well, here offensive tonight. Offensive Lamar's got two problems. One, our Kapaya touched but the first two offensive possessions for Kapaya went uh, – uh, got touchdowns, but uh, it looks like defensively for Lamar, they're, start, they're starting to uh, settle down a little bit. 9.48 to go, second quarter, 14 to nothing. Kapaya on the Will Sweat Alpha Insurance scoreboard. Second down and nine. Ball is just inside the Kapaya 15 yard line. They're going to hand it off to Grayer once again, and he's battling for extra yards, and he is going to be gobbled up right at the 20 yard line. So that'll be a gain of Around five, and that brings up a huge third down and a short four coming up for the Raider defense. Yep, I mean, it's uh, like I said, uh, this is a passing down situation for Kapai, you would think, but uh, they've, uh, like I said, they've, they're they running the ball enough to uh, keep our defense honest. Watch the play action pass right here. All right, ball once again is resting right at the 20-yard line in Kapai territory. they got to get right up to the 24 for the first down. With 10 seconds on the play clock, they break huddle here. They'll be out of the eye formation. One receiver down here to the near side. Grayer is the backfield. He'll take the handoff. He's going to bust one. 30, 35, and he may go ahead and go the distance, and he will. The last man that could beat him is Trip Morrow, and Morrow's not going to catch up to him. That is going to be a 80-yard touchdown run. And, folks, we're just going to slice it and dice it uh, about as honestly as we can. It's now a three-score ball game. This is a pretty, pretty steep hill for the Raiders now. Well, we had everybody defensively in the box, and he, uh, <coughs> uh, Grayer, uh, just busted, uh, you know, busted one uh, to the outside. And once he did that, I mean, it was pretty much uh, all she wrote. As uh, 80 yards later, Kapai is up 20 to nothing with 8:40 left to go in the uh, second quarter. And L Lamar, needless to say, is uh, they're in big trouble. 
All right, here comes the extra point. Try to make it 21 nothing. Snapback is clean. The kick is on the way, and the kick is good. So with 8.40 to go here in the second quarter, it is now Kapai 21, Lamar 0. Back in 30 seconds here on Lamar Raider TV and 97 OKK. With 8.40 to go here in the second quarter, the Raiders, probably the steepest hill to climb of the entire 2023 campaign as they now trail 21 to nothing thanks to an 80-yard touchdown run by Grayer. Drew, right now, I mean, the Raiders have had excellent field position on their last two possessions but have not been able to do anything with it. Thought the Raiders were playing okay defensively, and then all of a sudden, what did I say during the pregame? Explosive plays. Yeah, absolutely. Just, uh, yeah. You know, it's, it looked like defensively the, the, we were starting to settle down a bit, and I couldn't get it out of my mouth quick enough. And an 80 yard run by Greer and makes the score 21 0 Kapaya. Here comes Sean Ozane. He's going to pitch it back to McBrayer, trying to find some running room on the return, and he'll be upended at around the 34 yard line in Raider territory. Raiders tried a little razzle dazzle on the return, just trying to get something to go there. Why way. not? Try to do something when you're down 21 to nothing. I mean, he, you can't rub the old rabbit's foot for offensive for Lamar. One, we got to protect uh, uh, Wyatt Bond. Looks, fires it, and it is caught by Morrow. Mr. Everything goes out of bounds up at around the, they're going to mark him out. Wow, great spot across the 40 at about the 41. That's going to be a gain of, uh, wow, seven yards. Yeah, absolutely. On that offensive play for Lamar, defensively, uh, Kapaya, you know, was dropping back, going, dropping back in coverage, only rushing about three men. They had about eight, eight men back, and uh, they, they just, like I said, kept the play in front of them. They were not going to get beat deep there. Second down and three yards to go at around the Lamar 41-yard line, and there's the play-action fake. Bond running for his life again, throws the ball away. Just absolutely, they're just bearing down on Wyatt right now, and Drew, he's he's running like a man, uh, just trying to save his life right now. I, 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 right now, I mean, uh, Wyatt Bond, I, I, and I'm telling you, man, they are just, I mean, they're, they're treating our quarterback like it's a Sunday buffet. I mean, it is unbelievable. 8-16 to go, second quarter, then 21 to nothing on the Will Sweat Alpha Insurance scoreboard. It'll be a third down and three. Got to convert here from the 41-yard line somehow, some way. Somebody's got to make a play on third down. Bond back to throw on third down. Throws it down here to Harrington, and it is going to carry him off of his fingertips. Be honest, it probably should have been caught. Yeah. And on the carry, Amaro almost made the catch, and now it's fourth down. And, Drew, you're in that position now where you can't afford to turn it over on downs in your own uh, territory at the 41. Looks like the Raiders are going to elect to punt right here. Well, you got to because, uh, you know, if, if you're Jacob Land, you're sitting there and, you know, why go for it if you can't catch the ball? Absolutely. Nobody back to return for Kapai. Of course, they're staying disciplined, thinking the Raiders might try to fake it, but the Raiders will step up Good and punt. punt it. Nice hanging punt driven deep down inside the 20-yard line. It'll actually hit right at the 20 as Thomas Bryan will touch it at that point at the 20-yard line. So the Raiders on a very ugly three and out. <laughs> we'll uh, be back on defense with eight minutes to go here in the second quarter. It's 21 nothing, folks. And, uh, boy, I tell you right now, remember, Lamar gets the football to open up the uh, second quarter. But if I'm Kapaya, I'm just thinking from a colonel standpoint here, boy, you want to wear the Raiders down right here before the break. Oh, yeah, no doubt. No doubt about it. I mean, this is a, uh, like I said, you know, because Kapaya is known for their defense. Yeah. And, and like I said, offensively, he, you've basically given your defense 21 points so far. Uh, that's more than enough to, for victory. All right, they got Grayer in the backfield who hit an 80-yard home run a few minutes ago. He's on the edge again. Here he goes, 30, 35. He's off to the races again. He's gone. Not a soul's going to catch him. That is going to be yet another 80-yard touchdown run. 
So 160 yards on two it's carries, back. but it's coming back. Yep, there is a penalty flag back at the line of scrimmage, so a piece of laundry back at the 20, and Drew, where it was dropped, that's probably going to be a hold on Kapaya. So well, <laughs> thank goodness. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's been Lamar's only saving grace here in the first half. So it is a hold on Kapai, and you're right. I mean, Kapai, if there's one thing they've done tonight, they've been guilty of a handful of penalties that have uh, kind of shot themselves in the foot. But you can afford to make those when you're up 21 to nothing. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, like I said, uh, I, I'm just uh, the way we played so far in this ball game. I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm pretty, I'm shocked. I really don't know what to say, Robbie. I'm just so, I'm disappointed the way we we're playing. I just didn't see this coming. All right, they'll drop the football back, obviously, at the 10-yard line on the penalty mark off. So it'll be first down and 20, so a race, another 80-yard touchdown run there by Grayer. I tell you what, they've got a good combination of backs. you got Grayer, number six, Ainsworth, number four. Of course, my favorite guy is 28, that being Cole. And, uh, boy, I tell you what, a lot of different options in that backfield. Oh, absolutely. I mean, they've got a, you know, like I said, the, the offensive line for Kapai, they're nothing too, they're not too shabby either. No, they're, they're pretty re- good. They're really good. Uh, they're, they're a really good squad from top to bottom. That's why they had a first round bye. But, uh, you know, but uh, like I said, uh, right now, they, there's not a phase for Lamar that's playing good football right now. All down the field, and it is incomplete. I thought there for a moment Morrow was going to come up with the interception up near midfield. i tell you what, Trip was step for step with the intended target, Darian Moore, and uh, that's going to be second and ten. But Trip is just doing everything tonight. Yeah, but he, he needs some other guys. He needs some somebody. Guys. It can't be just him. But uh, like I said, if you're just tuning in, Kapaya leads uh, 21 to nothing with 7.38 left to go before halftime. And, folks, it uh, could very easily have been 28 just a few minutes ago because they had an 80-yard uh, run for a touchdown called back because of a uh, holding penalty. All right, as uh, Banks will bring the fresh play into the line, uh, into the huddle here. They're running out of time on the play clock with three seconds. Will they get the snap off here? They will just get the snap off. It's going to be a fullback dive. Nice job by the Raiders defensively. Yeah. Boy, somebody got a hat on somebody. I think it may have been uh, Ballou right there who led the charge. And the ball squirted free, but he was already ruled down. Nice job by Ballou and company. Yeah, yeah, that big, big play. Right. Dive a first down, and it's going to be fourth down and eight, and that gives Kapaya just a little bit of room to kick the football right here. And Morrow looks like he's going to be back in uh, punt return mode here uh, for the Raiders here up near midfield. Well, we still should get really good uh, field position out of this punt, and uh, we should be getting it uh, – with about just under six minutes left to go here in the second quarter, Lamar trailing 21 to nothing. If we can somehow get this punt, we can get some points late in the second quarter. That would be awesome. Here's the punt. It's a hanging punt to trip, and he will fumble the football. Picks it up and still running with the football, trying to outrun everybody, and he is going to be absolutely just blistered back here at around the Lamar 44-yard line. So that's where the Raiders will set up shot with 6.07 to go here in the second quarter, down 21 to nothing to Kapai Academy. No timeouts. Remember that too, folks. Lamar is out of timeouts. They spent all of them uh, early in this ball game. Well, right now, I mean, as bad as things have been, and when I say they've been bad, I mean, they've been bad. <laughs> yes. Lamar leads, I mean, Lamar trailing 21 nothing. We get the ball, take the ball down the field and score late in this uh, second quarter. We're still in this ball game because Lamar gets the ball first to start the third quarter. Here's the handoff to Curley and nothing, absolutely nothing. He's going to be dropped for a yard. You know, I know you got to run to keep folks honest, Drew, for the passing game, but right now the – once again, you lose on first down, you're behind schedule yeah, again. I just, it, we just can't get anything going. I mean, it's like there, I mean, whether it's, I mean, we st- either we run the ball, we get a, a minus play, we throw the ball, uh, White is, is running for his life. I mean, he just doesn't, I mean, n- there's nothing offensively has gone well for our Lamar Raiders here tonight. On second and 11 from back at the Lamar 43-yard line, Morrow and Harrington down here to the near side. Reed at tight end, Bond in the shotgun with Curley. Here's the play-action fake. Bond looks, sets his feet, throws it down the field for who else but Trip Morrow. A lot of pushing and shoving, but the ball was, oh, we got a flag. we got a flag. Uh, Drew, I'll be honest with you. I'll take the penalty marker here. I thought that ball might have been a little uncatchable right there. Uh, not just a little bit, but a lot. So uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, like I said, I honestly, like I said, Ooh. it's going to be an interesting call right here. And uh, like I said, I, 
because it looked like uh, the cornerback and, and our wide receiver were kind of going after each other. So we'll see what happens here. They're pointing toward Kapaya, so it looks like it is going to be a pass interference on Kapaya. Wow. Drew, I, I'm not looking at this through the Lamar color glasses. I'm looking at this from a – a uh, a neutral bystander. We'll take it. And uh, Lamar will take, we'll take it. it. <laughs> hey, listen, man. That's I mean, like I said, it's, hey, you need something to go your way. Yeah, absolutely. Because that I mean, I mean, the penalty department. That's about the only thing Lamar can hold their head uh, heads high. Is uh, Kapai has been penalized multiple times here in the first half, uh, but uh, Kapai leads where it really counts, twenty-one to nothing. Drew, once again, we're in Colonel territory. Have not done a, a thing in Kapai territory tonight. Can this be the drive from the Colonel 42 on first and 10 after the P.I. call on Kapaya? Here's the handoff to Curley, and not much. Maybe a yard down to the 41, second yeah. and nine. I mean, it's uh, like I said, they, they know running the ball, uh, Lamar, is just is not going to be the answer here tonight. It's just not. I mean, for Lamar, offensively, we're going to have to – we're going have to continue to throw the ball vertically and hopefully that our wide receivers can uh, can catch the ball. Harrington and Morrow out to the far side. Reed at tight end. Curley in the backfield on second down and nine. Bond looking to throw the football, and he's going to have to throw this thing away. He actually had Morrow in the neighborhood, but once again, Drew, he had three red jerseys bearing down on him third down and nine, and Bond is... Boy, Bond has a little bit of leeway to maybe start getting on that offensive line a little bit. Yeah, I ain't no doubt. I mean, why? I mean, I mean, I said this last week, and I'm gonna say it again against it with our guy. I hope he's got a good insurance policy because he is he's gonna need it if this continues. So, Drew, another third down and behind schedule. Third down and nine from the Kapaya 41. Read the H back. Harrington to one side, Morrow to the other. Bond looking to throw again, but he's gonna be dropped on a sack. Once again, the offensive line gives up another sack, and the Raiders will have to obviously punt it here in midfield. Goodness gracious. Well, I mean, it is like boys against men down in the trenches tonight. Mm. This is, I mean, this is awful. This awful. I tell you what, I've never seen a difference between one game and another ball game with a personnel group. Have you? Just, just an, an offensive line that just – uh, to this point has not shown up so far in this ball game. Bond will be punting it back inside his 40-yard line, and he will punt this thing away. It's going to be a wobbling kick over to the far side of the field that will take a Lamar roll and a decent one down close to the 16, maybe the 15-yard line. So with 3.50 to go here in the second quarter, Kapaya still leading at 21-0 on the Will Sweat Alpha Insurance scoreboard, and uh, once again, you send the defensive unit back out there. Absolutely. I mean, it's just, and it's a shame because offensively, I mean, because I mean, it's not like we've not been in Kapaya's side of the field. We've been in, we've been uh, at I least mean, on four occasions. Yes, you know. and we just cannot cannot make a play. And folks, I, I know we sound like a broken record, but Drew, when you can't get anything going on the early downs, I mean, you just set yourself up for a lot of disaster. And of course, when you can't give your quarterback more than a couple seconds of the football. That's not good either. Penalty flag here on first down as Grayer is going to cross the 25 up to the 26. It would be a first down, but let's check on the laundry, and I think this may be another hold on Kapai Cabinet. This has been the one negative for the Colonels tonight. They have had a truckload of penalties here in the first half. Yeah, they really have. I mean, just really, I mean, that's uh... – <laughs> I mean, just just think how bad this could be if they if 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 they weren't a little undisciplined. Well, that was an illegal shift on the Colonel, so that'll be a five yard mark off back close to the eleven yeah eleven yard line. First and fifteen coming up with three forty two to go here in the second quarter. Twenty one nothing Kapaya. Boy, you need a turnover. Or something. Boy, we Some, need something. Something has got to go right here tonight. And Drew, correct me if I'm wrong, but have we had a turnover yet in the ball game? Uh, we have not had an official I, turnover yet. I don't think so, no. Not, not well, that I can think of. Well, dead gummit, let it happen right here. I hope you're right. We need something. Here's the handoff to Ainsworth, and but the Raider defense is going to stack him up at around uh, the line of scrimmage. Might have gave him the 12 right there. And, Drew, I think our defensive line is doing a pretty good job on the interior, but where Kapai is killing us tonight is out there on the edges with oh, their speed. I mean, we're just, they, they, they're getting around our defense, defensive ends, and once they do that, it, they, it, uh, they've been sh their running backs have been showing us their taillights. 
Now under three minutes to go here in the second quarter. 21-0 Kapai Academy leading the football game here in Gallman tonight. It'll be second down and around 15 yards. It looks like they didn't give him a whole lot of anything. Well, offenses for Kapai, they, they're, they're in no hurry. They, they're, I mean, like I said, they're not – I'll be shocked if they put the ball in the air for the remainder of the half. I mean, there's no need at all for them. Here's a fullback dive. Raiders, good discipline right there, read it beautifully, but they will gain some yardage up to around the 15, and that will bring up third down and 11. I mean, they're, they're, they're up 21 to nothing. They've got a heck of a defense. I mean, right now, I, it wouldn't shock me if they start, uh, I mean, seriously, uh, potentially uh, probably taking the air out of the football. Yeah, might as well. So the clock continues to run. They're in no hurry with 20 seconds on the play clock, and the game clock is approaching two minutes to go. They have still not broken huddle as of yet. Well, the quarterback, Banks, is still down here on the near sideline talking with the coaching staff, and they may let the clock leak out and then call a timeout here on third down and 11. That looks like it's exactly what they're going to do. And, and folks, if you wonder why Lamar's not calling a timeout. They're out. Well, Lamar's out of timeouts. And uh, so, but, uh, well, folks, that we got a – uh, Kapaya calls a timeout with 148 left to go here uh, in the uh, second quarter. Kapaya leads our Lamar Raiders 21 to nothing. Folks, if you're just tuning in, eating a uh, Friday night uh, dinner, well, I hope you had a nice dinner and a dessert because that's that's uh, <laughs> you haven't missed much. Uh, it has been all Kapaya. As uh, you know, coming into tonight's contest, we knew Lamar was going to have to. Um, play even better uh, than they did last Friday night. We knew Lamar was going to have to come out and match the intensity of Kapaya, especially considering that we won the regular season matchup. And that's just simply not been the case to this point. Uh, Lamar has been absolutely uh, dominated in all three phases, offense, defense, and special teams. And uh, and, and for, our, for our Lamar Raiders, I, I don't know. Like I said, this is uh, just – a horrible, horrible, horrible first half of football that we have not seen all no. year, Robbie. I'm sorry. We this is we hadn't played this bad. This is about the biggest spanking of the year we've had so far in any ball game that we've had. Because in the three losses the Raiders had, you had an overtime loss to Startville Academy, the one-point loss uh, down at Simpson, and a two-touchdown loss at Leak, and everything else has been pretty close all year. Here's the pitch play on third down and 11. Do Grayer good discipline by the Raider defense. Boy, they got on the edge that time, made a stop out there, and Raiders taking a timeout. Evidently, they had one left. Okay. So there you go. I think Jacob Land had one left, so evidently the official made the right call earlier uh, on that other timeout. So yeah. the Raiders have uh, now used their last timeout, so there well, you go. That, that, that's okay, like I said. Thank you very uh, much. But, uh, but, yeah, I mean, it's like I said right now, I mean, as, as poorly as uh, Lamar has played in this first half, somehow, some way, there is a path for Lamar to uh, get back in this ball game. Uh, we, we've got to uh, get – we're about to get the ball back. We should have, once again, pretty pretty good field position. Uh, if we can get some points, maybe even a, a, a touchdown, go in at halftime, only trailing 21-7. to 7. Lamar gets the ball back, gets the ball first to start the third quarter. But it, it just seems like, you know, we make a play and then we, we you know, take two steps back. I mean, it's, it's just we've not had anything go Lamar's way other than some of the penalties here in the first half. All right, after the timeout by the Raiders, Trip Morrow will be standing at midfield. Boy, you love a big return right here. Some Something. kind of spark. Snapback is clean to the punter at the five-yard line. It's a end-over-end kick that Morrow will let bounce up in there. He'll field it at Good. the 46. He is in Kapai territory, 40, 35, and he will be out of bounds. He stepped out of bounds at about the 31, maybe the 32. Okay. So, no timeouts, 128 to go here in the first half. Raiders will have the football at around the Colonel 32, 33-yard line. Yeah, I mean, I mean, a golden opportunity right now for our Lamar uh, football team to get back in this ball game, trailing 21 to nothing, with 128 left to go before uh, the uh, before halftime. I mean, Robbie, we got the ball at the, the uh, 33 yard line here uh, of Kapaya. Got, I mean, got to get seven here. And now we've got a timeout by Kapaya, so they're going to take their final timeout. Raiders had lined up five wide receivers in that formation. I mean, we had a lot of folks I haven't seen on offense in a while, including Drew Mitchell, who was out there. 
So uh, so Kapai takes their last timeout. So everybody's out of timeouts with 128 to go here in the first half. 21 nothing Kapai. Well, you're down three scores. If you're Coach Jacob Laird, I mean, you're you're I mean, you're trying to find somebody that could possibly, from an offensive standpoint, uh, uh, make, get a spark going. And why not put why not put Drew Mitchell Might out there? Might as well. He's got a lot of offensive experience. He's on the field. Ozane's on the field. Harrington, Reed uh, are all on the field. I mean, you got to find somebody that can catch the football. Five wide receivers, empty backfield. Mitchell is the slot guy down here to the near side. Reed is at the top along with Harrington and Morrow, and you got Ozane. A lot of good playmakers out there for Wyatt Bond. Got to protect him, though, on first down from the 33. Bond steps up across the middle, tried a little That's slant right. play, and that was incomplete down at the 30 to Drew Mitchell, second and 10. Yeah, that was that was that 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 one right there. That was a bad throw by Wyatt. That, that was, I mean, that 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 ball was hovering the grass all the way to uh, Drew Mitchell right there. There was nothing Drew could could have done right there. So that only took about four seconds off of the game clock. 124 to go now here in the second quarter. Second down and 10, and Drew did not gain anything on first down. Five five wide receivers again on second and ten. Bond steps up, throws it down the field. One on one coverage down the field, and it is nice job. That is a heck of a job in secondary right there by number twelve. That being Darian Moore, just got to give him credit. He got his hand up in the air and just batted the ball away in one on one coverage with Trip Morrow. Not really. Not much I can add to that. I mean, that's exactly what happened right there. Just at the defensive back for. Uh, uh, Kapai, uh, did, did nice job of one-on-one coverage right there, and and uh, Lamar's got a third and ten. <laughs> third and ten again. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I know folks oh, at home listening. Man, sound like a broken record, but we've been saying that a lot here in the first half. Five wide receivers again, empty backfield. We're just going to sling it around the lot right here on third and ten. Here's the pass down the field to Ozane in one-on-one, and they got it. catch it. He sure did. did. Touchdown, Thank Lamar! You. Touchdown! You. Raiders, it's a miracle. The Raiders have just scored in Gallman on a 33-yard bomb from Bond to Ozane, and the Raiders get on the scoreboard with a much-needed touchdown with 109 to go before the break. Somehow Ozane made the catch. Yeah, and stop the presses in Meridian. So a wide receiver for us caught the football. Holy cow. <laughs> Lamar uh, finds the end zone with 109. Uh, left to go before halftime, trailing 21 to six, and uh, man, maybe that's that'll get everybody going, including you and I. Absolutely, boy! Wow, it's been an awful first half until that point. Big extra point right here to keep pace here. Snapback is good. The kick by Morrow is perfect. So with 109 to go here in the second quarter, your new score is Kapai Academy 21, and yes. The Raiders have scored a 33-yard touchdown pass from Wyatt Bond to Sean Ozane. We'll keep things right here because we're oh so close to the end of the second quarter. And, folks, the reason that's such a big touchdown for two reasons, because, yay, we finally scored. And, number two, the Raiders get the ball to open up the third quarter. Like Drew said, there is a path there. You just have to stay on the path. Well, right now, defensively for Lamar, we cannot give up, as you know, you alluded to during the pregame show, the explosive plays. And uh, Dave Kapias had a lot of them here in the first half. And if we can somehow, some way, I don't know how, get this half, get the, get get into halftime only trailing 21-7. to 7. Folks, I, I need to go find the nearest uh, – poker table and put something down on the table because I'm telling you, there's no way you, as bad as poorly as Lamar has played in this first half, uh, I never thought that uh, we could only potentially be going into ha- halftime trailing 14. What a throw, though, by Wyatt Bond. Did not give him enough credit on oh, that throw. The, 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 the catch was great, but the throw by Bond was dropped in a bucket. Uh, uh, you could, I mean, one of the best throws of the year. And uh, I'm just, like I said, I'm just, we just got to do a better job in the second half catching the football. Here's a ground ball kick that Kapai will field at around the 20-yard line. Oh, boy, here's Grayer on the return. Get him down up at around the 33, 34-yard line. So with 102 to go here in the second quarter, Kapai will get their hands back on the football. Now, folks, this is a team who doesn't throw it a lot, so let's see how they play uh, this hand here in the last minute and two seconds. Well, right now, you know, like I said, you know, Kapai, you know, this is the first time in this ball game where they they faced a little bit of yeah. adversity, and let, let's see uh, how they react. Uh, but uh, for Lamar defensively, just cannot give up a big play uh, right here. KJ Brown will check into the backfield here now. Brown will take the handoff. 
play that edge good, boys, and he'll cross the 35 up to the 37. And, Drew, the way Kapai is playing this thing out, they may be satisfied with the two-score lead here at halftime. Well, they're, they're really showing offensively no no uh, sign of urgency, so that they may uh, be uh, playing for halftime right now with now going on 40 seconds left to go before halftime with Kapai leading 21-7. to yeah, Drew, every time they bounce out to the edge, I kind of hold my breath because that's where they burn us well, here tonight. Me and you both, buddy. I mean, it's just like I said, uh, once they've gotten around our defensive ends, it's it's been uh, uh, it's it's been a big play by them. With 22 seconds, they will go up to the football on second down and six, and, yep, it looks like they will take a knee. Oh. So that is the final play of the second quarter. So despite all of the negative things that happened to Lamar there in the uh, first half of activity, Lamar does get a 33-yard touchdown strike with a minute plus to go in the second quarter. And we head off to the locker room with your score here at the break, Kapai Academy 21 and your Lamar Raiders 7. We'll take a two-minute timeout, and when we return, we'll have your halftime report powered by Citizens National Bank and the Madison Road Gallery by Woodstock Furniture. Back in two minutes here on Lamar Raider TV and 97 OKK. Was it 33 yards on the touchdown pass? Well, welcome back inside the broadcast booth as the Lamar cheerleading squad just got done with their performance here at the halftime break. And on the football field, Lamar on the wrong side of the board right now, but got a little bit of life there before the break uh, with a 33-yard connection there, Drew, uh, to Sean Ozane from Wyatt Bond, and it's 21-7. Uh, here at the break, but boy, <laughs> you really needed that spark at the intermission here. Yeah, we really did. I mean, Lamar would it just uh, <laughs> really got punched in the mouth to start the ball game. It was trailing 14 to nothing uh, after the first uh, about three minutes of the ball game, and then uh, trailed 21 to nothing uh, after a long run early in the second quarter. And things uh, just really at that point of the, of, the, of the ball game for our Lamar Raiders just it just kept getting worse and worse, but. Uh, but, uh, you know, but late in the uh, second quarter, Wyatt Bond to Sean Ozane, 33-yard touchdown pass, cut, uh, got, cut the lead to 21-7. to seven. Guys, I, I, I'm, I'm still trying, I mean, trying to think of what to say of that first half by our Lamar Raiders. Uh, the only adjective that I could come up with is uh, ugly. Uh, but, uh, 
Somehow, some way, we're still in this ball game. How I, your, I, your guess is as good as mine. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, the, bo- the bottom line is Kapai Academy has been their own worst enemies penalty-wise. I mean, that's kept Lamar somewhat in this football game. And, uh, I mean, offensive line play for Lamar has been poor. Um, receivers missing some catches <laughs> has been poor. Um, I mean, on the edges on defense has been poor on uh, one explosive play. Um a lot of other words I could use, but I can't use them on the radio. Yeah, I just be, can't we, do that. Yeah, I was so. gonna say, we, if we could, <laughs> then we'd be off the air. But uh. Uh, I do have a couple of scores to pass along to you from the academy ranks. Uh, nearing the end of the second quarter up in Startville, uh, between Startville Academy and Leak. Startville 20, Leak Academy 16 Woo. in that football game. And down in the pit in Mendenhall, uh, that ball game is nearing the end of the second quarter. Oak Forest Academy 7, Simpson 0. Ooh. So there's a couple of uh, scores there uh, from some of the other ball games tonight. So the higher seeds are having a battle tonight at home, that being Startville Academy and Simpson. And I, I had a feeling Leak was going to go in there and give Startville some fits here tonight. Oh, so. Absolutely. But uh... – well, folks, that, I, that game is now gone to halftime, by the way. So, right. Starville and Leak are at halftime. Starville 20, Leak 16. Folks, I mean, if you're just tuning in, I, you know, like I said, I mean, it, it's not been a lot of good news for our Lamar Raiders, but you look up at the scoreboard, folks, we're only trailing 14 points. we got a whole other half to go. But we've got, to, we've got to start doing the simple things better. Yeah. And that means, and I don't mean to be, we've got to catch the football. Our wide receivers – uh, are, are letting uh, Wyatt Bond down in the first half. I thought, guys, I thought our quarterback really put some had some nice throws there in, in the first half. And our wide receivers, other than one catch, uh, let 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 uh, Mr. Bond down. And uh, uh, offensive line, I mean, come on, man, you know you, we, we've got to give our quarterback at least two to three seconds to throw the ball. He, I mean, it has been a United Nations conference at, at, at our at our quarterback the entire football game. Uh, uh, White has been running all over the state in the first half, and uh, that's got to change uh, in the second half. Uh, and defensively, I mean, I thought that we, you know, we, we, if we could just, you know, eliminate the explosive plays, we're, you know, the few they did take the opening drive. You know, yeah, they, they drove it seventy-five right. yeah, yards yeah. down the field, right yeah. down our throat, and scored. And then. Drew, I thought a big turning point in the ball game. It, it doesn't go down in the stat sheet as a turnover, but in a sense it was. Lamar goes uh, on a quick what – it was just a handful of plays and had sure. to punt the football. Yeah, yeah. The ugly snap. Yes, Bond yes. had to chase it down and try to punt it away, and then we punted it somehow. A Kapai guy gets a hand on it, and then they recover it, and then they have it at R28, and then they score immediately Maybe. next play. That was the 14. They scored 14 like right just, off the bat. Just like right off the bat. And, of course, the uh, the third touchdown was the 80-yard explosive play. So I said in the pregame, folks, it's the little things that matter. And, folks, that is a big swing of momentum right there early in the football game because you get punched in the mouth early. You kind of expect it when you're on the road in the playoffs. But then – a mistake in special teams. Mm-hmm. Somehow special teams always seems to rear its ugly head one way or another, positively or negatively for your football team. And for the Raiders, negatively, the bad snap to Bond. Mm-hmm. Wyatt luckily got the, uh, the the kick away, but it was a short field. And, of course, one play later there in the end zone. Yeah. I mean, correct me if I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, Robbie, y'all. I mean, at times there in that first half, it almost looked like Lamar had quit competing. For a, for the, for a majority of the first quarter, it looked like that, and that, and that that's what that's what was. It, it was almost like they got down, you know, fourteen, and then got down twenty-one to nothing, and it, it just they got their head down, and they, and and they just kind of there for a little bit, quit competing, and that's what was so disheartening. As we were, Rob, you and I were watching this. I mean, we, I mean, this is about as bad as we could possibly play. We hadn't played look this bad all season. And 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 you look up and like I said, we thank goodness we got a late touchdown uh, to cut the Kapai lead from uh, uh, twenty-one to seven. And I mean, believe it or not, we're still in this game, but we just got to make the simple play offensively by you know one protecting our quarterback and two catching the football. We do that. We got a chance to come back and pull off the unthinkable here in the second half. Big thanks to All Star Team Sports, along with Mattress Express by Woodstock Furniture, Citizens National Bank, bringing our halftime report tonight, along with the Madison Road Gallery by Woodstock. Also, Trey Cross Agency, Burns and Burns. Of course, they filled us up just right in the vehicle before we headed down here to Gallman, along with Insurance Advisory Group, Van Zyvert and Will Sweat Alpha Insurance in East Mississippi. 
oral and facial surgery. So 21-7 here at the break as all of the cheerleaders and dance teams are uh, competing. Uh, well, I would say competing here at halftime. They're performing here at halftime here tonight. College football, boy, what a slate it's going to be tomorrow across uh, the country, especially in the Southeastern Conference. Drew, it starts with a breakfast kickoff tomorrow morning, 11 o'clock, up at Vault hemingway between Old Miss and Texas A&M. Well, I tell you what, man, that was a, uh, like I said, that, that's going to be a scary game for Ole Miss, and I, I'm telling you that, uh, like I said, oh, it's been a few years since Ole Miss has been in this uh, late in the season, been in, you know, where they can control their own destiny at, uh, for the West, and uh, that's going to be a, a tricky ball game up in Vault hemingway I think uh, it's a close game at halftime, but I, th- I think that Ole Miss makes a couple of plays uh, late third quarter going into the fourth quarter, and they win that ball game. Boy, a puzzling game, same time tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock. What about this snoozer right here? Arkansas on the road at Florida tomorrow. I think for most people, that, you, can, you, can, you can kick that ball game off at 7 in the morning <laughs> when you compare it to you looking to the, the rest of the slate. Uh, Good tomorrow, Lord. Tomorrow, so. I saw that, and I was like, holy smokes, who's watching Ooh, that one? <laughs> man, I'm telling you. Uh, Auburn at Vanderbilt. Auburn? You know, after a win against Mississippi State last week, they're at four wins now. Their main goal right now is getting to six. I That's think it. there's a path for them to get it. I think they'll get number five tomorrow against Vanderbilt. Well, I think, I, I, like I said, I think Auburn wins out until they get to Alabama. So, yeah. I, like I said, uh, where's that game in Nashville, right? Uh, it is in Nashville okay. tomorrow. It'll be, uh, it'll be a 3 o'clock kick there. Auburn is uh, a double-digit favorite in that football game. Uh, tomato can games, well, we always say that. UConn is at Tennessee, uh, <laughs> Jacksonville State at South Carolina. Hopefully South Carolina get a win there. And then you get into the meat games. Uh, Kentucky at Mississippi State. Uh, I guess the best thing going for the Bulldogs tomorrow is the uniform combination. Well, I, I, like I said, I mean, this is, a, I think, a, a game. I think uh, State could uh, very well win. win. Uh, you know, this is a uh, Kentucky squad that has not really looked good the last two to three weeks, and uh, they've, going through some adversity and state it's very important ball game because it's a winnable home game for mississippi state and plus correct me if i'm wrong they're honoring the 98 they're honoring the 98 the an actual sec western division champion (laughs) (laughs) an actual sec like i said it wouldn't shock me i I, like i said i think state's gonna pull off the upset i think it's it's a big game tomorrow for zach arnett i believe and uh if he loses this ball game tomorrow i think drew you hate to say it i think the the barbarians are at the gate but if they lose this one tomorrow I would say if they lose it tomorrow they're at the gate maybe about to knock it over but the state gets blown out of the building um, I don't think he's going to make it to a year or two there. But uh, it should be interesting. Yeah, they're going to honor the 98 team tomorrow. They're wearing the 98 uh, design uniforms tomorrow, which is going to be kind of cool under the lights there at Davis Wade. And officially, Kentucky is a, as of right now, a four-point favorite yeah. in that ball game, which is about right. Uh, big one uh, between the hedges tomorrow, Missouri at Georgia. Uh, this is not uh, your usual Georgia-Missouri ball game. Missouri under well, the drink. We've been watching the drink all year. Uh, the drink is uh, going down pretty smooth there in Mizzou. Yeah, they, it really, it really is. Missouri's been playing some really good football uh, this year, and uh, man, when you got receivers, you know, like Luther Burden and and that other kid, that wide receiver that plays for Missouri, I mean, they 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 uh, they've been going up and down the field at will all season long, and uh, actually, Missouri's been playing some uh, solid defense this year, and. Uh, but, you know, it's kind of like <laughs> for Missouri, this is really, you look at it, when was the last time? Yeah, you can say, yeah, you know, they beat Kansas State early in the year. Yes, that was a big ball game for them. But this is a true big ball game. You're, yeah. you're late, this late in the year, on the road, in Athens, E. I think Georgia, I think uh, 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 Georgia pours themselves several drinks tomorrow in Athens and comes away with a win. Big two weeks for Georgia. They get Missouri tomorrow, and they get Ole Miss in Athens yeah. next week, which that's going to be a huge ball game. I think that could be a game day possibility. I, th- just I, like, I like that pick. And finally, the big one in Tuscaloosa. These two, boy, they have had a lot of chapters in history. Uh, LSU and Alabama, it's going to be under the lights there in T-Town at 645. Bama is the slight favorite by about a field goal, basically a pick and ball game. Uh, boy, this is going to be a big one tomorrow night. Alabama controls its path to the west to get back to Atlanta. LSU still has a window there to get there as well. But, uh, boy, this is a big football game. Well, it really is. I think uh, the t- tomorrow's winner is a clear-cut favorite to uh, make it to uh, a- a- Atlanta. This is a ball game where, you know, Alabama, you know, they started the year slow, especially on the offensive side of the ball. I mean, tip your cap to Jalen Milrow as he has really turned the corner uh 
as Alabama's quarterback defensively. Uh, I mean, Alabama's, you know, on that side of the ball looks like Alabama again. Uh, for LSU, uh, listen, man, I mean, you know what you're going to get offensively. Uh, with, uh, with, you know, so, but, um, you know, <laughs> but it's going to be hard for LSU to go into Bryant Denny with pretty much with all freshmen and redshirt freshmen yeah. uh, cornerbacks and safeties, pretty much the entire defensive backfield, and think you're going to you think you're going to win that ball game. We're, we're going to find out, but that that's going to be if LSU wins, it's going to be because we we the game got into the forty point range. Yeah, uh, it's got to be a shootout. If LSU yeah. if LSU wins, uh, uh, it's going to be because it's going to be a, a shootout. Real quick, a couple of NFL games I'll toss in on you there. The Saints uh, coming off a win against the Colts. Uh, Derek Carr looked pretty good. They got the Bears coming into the Dome, and uh, Saints at 4-4 four and four, somehow tied for the NFC South lead, which is unbelievable. Well, I mean, it's, it's like, I mean, I mean, the Saints, you know, what I saw the other day, we can throw the ball down the field. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Shocked, I, I, I mean, I, I, I was shocked to see it, and we actually caught a few of them. Yeah. How novel, about that? Novel idea. Another NFL game is a big one, uh, NFC East, Cowboys and Eagles. That'll be the late afternoon Sunday game. Uh, should be a good one. Oh, wow, man. That's, that's going to be a, that's gonna be an awesome game to sit there and watch. And uh, like I said, I, you know, the Eagles look like you know, the Philadelphia Eagles. And, uh, but uh, like I said, uh, I, think, I think Philadelphia wins matchup more yeah. than the first matchup because it's Philadelphia. Absolutely. The Kapai Academy Band continues to perform here at the halftime break, and the score here at the half is Kapai 21 and Lamar 7. As you continue to listen to our halftime report, brought to you by Citizens National Bank and the Madison Road Gallery by Woodstock Furniture. But uh, other playoff activity tonight, we gave you an update earlier that Starkville Academy leads Leak Academy at the halftime break 20-16. to And the last reported score we got from Simpson was Oak Forest 7, Simpson nothing nearing the end of the second quarter. And, of course, the other... Uh, quarterfinal matchup tonight is Park Lane Academy hosting ACCS. Of course, the winner of this ball game gets the winner of that ball game. If Park Lane wins, uh, the winner of this one will go to Park Lane. Uh, but if ACCS happens to win, they are the lower seed. They're the 10 seed. Uh, the winner of this ball game would host. So if Lamar can somehow, some way, by the good graces of God, fight their way back in this thing and escape with the win, Drew, we could potentially be back at Gray Cobb Field next week, but still. That is still a long road to haul here tonight. Yep. Absolutely. So both teams have not come out of the locker room just yet. But uh, I tell you what, we'll go ahead and step away for one more timeout. And uh, we'll take two minutes down the line, another two minutes, pay off some of these fine sponsors we mentioned, and we'll get the second half kicked off. And that's going to wrap things up for your halftime report. Brought to you by Citizens National Bank and the Madison Road Gallery by Woodstock Furniture. Back in two minutes here on Lamar Raider TV and 97 OKK.
Off the second half here between your Lamar Raiders and the Kapai Academy Colonels as we continue to enjoy the great performance here by the pride of the Kapai Academy uh, Colonel Marching Band as they just uh, finished up just a few moments ago, I do believe. And uh, pretty good job there by those uh, young folks down Boy, there. Boy, they did. They put on a really good show here at halftime. Absolutely. So I uh, don't believe uh, all the football teams have uh, come out of the locker room just yet. Yeah, Kapai Academy is now making their way out of the dressing room. And Lamar, of course, uh, should be making their way out here any moment here as uh, they're dressing right behind us at the gymnasium area here on campus here at Kapai Academy. So, of course, the winner of this one, as we said, will move on to the semifinal round between uh, the winner of Park Lane and ACCS. That ball game being played. Drew, about, what, maybe an hour down the road from here yeah. at Park Lane? Of course, yep. uh, if Park Lane wins that one, the winner of this one will be on the road next week for a right to go to the state championship. So, but uh, I'll go ahead and say it, folks. Uh, this big, this drive coming out of the dressing room is it's so good. imperative for Lamar. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it, this is uh, the season, I think, a season-changing season drive. Uh, for uh, Lamar coming up. I mean, it, it, but, and folks, you're just tuning in, and I, I tell you, man, it, you, you didn't want to you didn't want to tune in to Rob and I for the first half because it was a house of horrors. And uh, you know, like I said, you, you know, you're probably saying, "Well, hey, why Lamar's only trailing 21 to seven. It wasn't the fact that we got down 21 to seven. It's the fact that the the way we did it and how we were playing, uh, Lamar in that first half, folks." I mean, I, I don't think it could be much worse. I really don't. Uh, uh, just from the, the – uh, just doing the simple things of, you know, catching the football. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, blown defensive assignments. Uh, uh, you, you, you name it, we pretty much saw it in the first half for our Lamar Raiders. And somehow, some way, you look up and we only tr- – only, only God knows how that we're only trailing 21 to 7 at the half. But, you know, what – you know, you, you – you, you, you erase the clipboard and you come out in the, in the third quarter like a house on fire. And let's see what happens because, folks, I'm going to tell you, uh, you know, we can't play much worse in the first half. We can only get better. Drew, I'm going to tell you one guy we got to get involved in this offense, and that is uh, a guy who we have not said his name hardly at all tonight. That's Sully Reed. we oh, got to get him I- involved somehow, some way. We have He has not touched the ball yet tonight. We've targeted Harrington maybe once or twice. Uh, it's been all trip Mario or bust so far here tonight, but we got to get Sully somehow involved in this. And, Drew, I know you don't want to abandon the running game completely. Are we at that point right now where we just spread out five and just sling it around this place? Well, I, I, honestly, I, I don't right to start. I don't think – I think you still got to, you know, keep the uh, Kapai's defense honest. But it's going to get to a point pretty early in third quarter if we don't get anything going. Where you know, we like I said, to. we might have to. I, I totally agree. But uh, I'm going to tell you one thing: if there is a uh, a unit that probably got dressed down pretty good at the halftime break, I imagine it was probably the big boys up front. That being the offensive line, I imagine Jacob Land and Charlie Ballou, the offensive line coach, uh, probably had a good discussion with those young men oh, uh, at the I halftime can, I, break. So, but uh, that was uh, I can only imagine. Oh, I, absolutely. So, but uh, yeah, they probably had a long chat back in this gym uh, that probably needs to be repainted, probably. But uh, Raiders have made their way over to the far sideline. Uh, Raiders have not warmed up; they're just kind of stretching their legs out. This may be a show and go start for the third quarter right here. Well, right now, I mean, that was a pretty pretty long halftime show, and uh, the, but like I said, Lamar's just now, uh, just now coming out on the field, and uh, it may cut into their stretching time. But that just goes to show you that uh, uh, Coach Jacob Allen used all of his allotted halftime uh, time to really uh, get some things straight. That uh, he and trust me, he had a, a three ring binder full of things he had to get straight at halftime, and. Hopefully we'll see a different Lamar Raider football team because that first half, our Lamar Raiders, it looked like we just kind of, at times, we looked uncompetitive and sleepwalking. Anything, any ugly adjective you want to describe, that's what we looked like in the first half. But you know what? That's in the past. Now we can't take it back, and we are in a 14-point hole here to start the third quarter. Let it rip, let, let's, and let's see what happens. Start of the third quarter down in Mendenhall. It is still Oak Forest 7 and Simpson 0. Boy, that is a slug 
fest down there in the pit tonight between the boys from Louisiana and the boys from the pit. So we'll keep a close eye on that one. Of course, last report we had, Starkville Academy was leading Leak Academy at the break 20-16. to 16. So, Drew, other uh, teams inside of our district are having some big ball games tonight. Well, that's some inter- interesting scores, to say the least. I had a feeling about that Leak Starkville game. Now, the Oak Forest Simpson game, that's a little surprising. A little surprising yeah. there. Lamar will receive the opening kick here. Trip Morrow back at around the eight-yard line to receive this kick. Drew, we didn't even warm up. We just showed up on the sideline, and we're running folks out there ready to play ball. And I, like I said, I think that's I think, I think Coach Jacob Land had, had a lot of things to say to his, his ball club, and, and rightfully so. That's why we were so late getting out on the field. All right, so Kapai Academy will get set to tee this thing up at the 40-yard line. Well, Here's the bottom line, folks. Lamar can either fight back or guess what? The 23 season comes to a screeching halt here tonight in Gallman. Pretty simple as that, yeah, right? Yeah, really not much I can add to that. <clears throat> and now Kapaya's, well, they're having a few problems here on special teams getting the right unit out there. Now we're ready to go. And now the third quarter is officially underway. So here we go as Trip Mar will field it at the 14. He's up to the 20, 25, and he's going to be dropped at about the 26, maybe the 27. So here we go. Wyatt Bond and the offense will come out trailing 21 to 7 at the start of the third quarter. And, and folks, uh, Wyatt Bond was not the problem at all in the first half. I thought he played, I mean, I thought he put some throws right out there to be caught, and we just didn't make, not make enough uh, catches uh, to help out our quarterback, and we, we've had pretty much next to nothing in the running department uh, so far in this ball game. Uh, so, it, 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 like I said, and right off the bat, Rob, you said it, five, we're, going, we're, we're going empty, five wide receivers. Three to the top, two to the bottom here, and I think yep. Kapaya jumped in the neutral zone. Hey, you take what you can get, first down and five, so the bond magic works again. And uh, for the first time tonight, the Raiders have – Gotten more than a couple of yards on first down, but it's by penalty. And I don't care how it's become. I mean, that I don't care how it comes from. So, but uh, Lamar's got a first and five right now. We're just uh, just starting the uh, third quarter with Capaya leading twenty-one to seven. Five wide outs again. Three to the far side, two to the near side. Empty backfield for Wyatt Bond. He's going to throw it incomplete right at the shoe tops of Ty Harrington. And uh, if Ty catches the football, he's not going to get a whole lot, second and five. Yeah, that was that little wide receiver slip screen to the far side of the field and just a, a low throw right there by, uh, by Wyatt and uh, second down and five. From the Lamar 32-yard line, Raiders moving right to left as you listen this evening on the radio end of things. Three receivers to the far side, two to the near side. We're, we're just going to spread them out five and sling this thing let's, around the let's, yard. Let's go. Bond on second down and five, back to throw. He's under pressure, gets rid of it, and it is caught, but not for much by Harrington. He's going to be dropped. His forward progress was stopped basically at the line of scrimmage, so now it's going to be third down. They may have gave him a yard, so third down and four. Yep, and uh, right now a big uh, third down and four coming up uh, for our Lamar offense, and again, this is a perfect time. Uh, Maybe uh, Sully Reed uh, in the middle of the field? Maybe. Uh, We've got to call his number sometime tonight. Like I said, I don't even know if he's been targeted tonight. Third down and four. Boy, this is a critical down here for the Raiders. Got to win on third down and keep the offense on the field. Empty backfield with five wide receivers again. Bond surveys, throws it, and it is nearly intercepted. Fastball across the middle. He was looking for either Morrow or Mitchell, and it was a hot potato that nobody could handle and nearly intercepted by uh-huh. the safety. And that looks like Lamar Oh, my gosh, the that. Raiders are going to go for it. Wow. The Raiders are going on fourth down and fourth. They're on 33. Holy smokes. Well, is it going to be trying to hard count here, maybe try to draw them off here maybe? Goodness gracious. This is a Mike Leach call right here, isn't it? I think we're going, we, we look. We, we're yeah. going. Yep. Fourth down and four. Bond is going to throw it, and it is complete, but for no gain. Fourth down, turnover on downs, and now – With just one minute deep here into the third quarter, folks, out of the locker room, uh, that's about as bad as you could get right there. And uh, tonight's been bad overall, and it just got a lot worse. Turnover on downs, you go for it on fourth down at your own 33, and now Kapai gets it at that point. Uh, Wow. uh, Well, uh, like I said, uh, I I, I don't know. Uh, Anyway, defensively, we're going to have to step up and make a play right now, and that's that's pretty much the bottom line right now. And – 
Uh, Lamar uh, trailing 21-7 to early in the third quarter. High formation to Grayer. Grayer has yards inside the 30, and uh, Cooper Gordy goes on a ride down to near the first down marker at the 22. Yep, exactly 10 yards on the game, first down. I tell you what, they have such a wonderful mixture of running backs in that backfield, and it's going to be another first down. Yep, and uh, like I said, uh, ball first and 10, uh, Kapaya at the ball spot to Lamar, let's see, 22-yard line. Far hash mark here for Banks in the offense. Now they'll go back into the I formation here. Fullback, obviously, right there in front of the running back, Grayer. And uh, Grayer takes the handoff right in the middle of the Lamar defense. And he actually almost lost the football at the 21, but hangs on to it for about a yard gain. Yep, uh, look, defensive line uh, built a wall at the line of scrimmage, and it uh, looks like a short gain of a, maybe a yard on the play. He'll set up a second down and nine. Gosh, got it. guys, we ain't had an official turnover tonight. I think something's, now, something's got to happen. Uh, uh, now would be a pretty good time. Can the football gods bless Lamar right here with 10 minutes to go here in the third quarter, down 21-7 to after the Raiders went on a quick series of downs and went for it on fourth down and four at their own 33 and did not convert. And now on second down and nine from the 21, Grayer is going to bust one right down the middle there, and he's going to get into the red zone down and around the 18. So now that's going to bring up a third down, and we'll call it about six. Yep, a big uh, big play right here. Uh, both sides right now for Lamar, they got to make a play right now. Third down and six, you know they're going to probably, uh, you know, we, we've got to, the way they ran the ball in the first half, Kapai did, we've got to respect their running game, and that's what scares me because this is a, a perfect time for a play action pass to the tight end in the middle of the field. Banks gets the call from the sideline, rushes it back into the huddle. Now Grayer will be the running back. They have one wide receiver that will be split out to the far side and a tight end on one side of the line of scrimmage. Play action fake, throws it across. Intercepted by Lamar! There's my turnover as Thomas Bryan comes out of there with the interception. Dad Gummin, it was going to happen sooner or later, and there's an interception. We got to do something with this. We got to. I mean, the defense can only bail you out so many times, and right there the defense really bailed out the offense right there. A huge, huge play uh, by Lamar, and hopefully that will get us going. Hopefully. What wow. Else, what else do y'all want tonight? You want anything else? I mean, it's, I mean, like I said, man, I mean. <laughs> you want to, let's see, let's get a, what, 76-yard touchdown pass right here? <laughs> I will take it. Let's go. <laughs> From the far hash mark at the 24, after the interception by Brian, let's see if that lights a little fire under our pants right here. Bond's going to throw it down the middle. He was looking for Reed, and Reed was tangled up with a defender up at around the 40-yard line. So they were going for Sully Reed right there, incomplete. Yeah, and that's, I mean, that's been a thing also in the first half. I mean, you know, we've got guys that, that have that can't catch the ball, but then again, we got guys that won't get open. So, I mean, it's just it's, that, that's what's frustrating as well. Second and 10. Once again, nothing on first down from the 24. Far hash mark for Bond and company. We got five wide receivers out there. Bond looks, looks, and he's still looking, running for his life, and he's going to throw it away as he almost hit the cheerleaders over there. And once again, folks, I think we've said it once. We've said it 100 times tonight. Third and 10 again. Yeah, I, I, I don't think we've had this many third and longs all season long. I mean, it, it just seems like every time it's third down, it's, it's, it's third at least for Lamar. It's third down uh, eight or higher. Third and 10, 8.44 to go here in the third quarter. Lamar trailing at 21-7 to still. Raiders have got to get up to the 34 in their own territory for the first down. Empty backfield again, five wide receivers. Somebody's got to make a play on third and 10. Bond with a clean pocket, throws it across the middle. Caught! It is caught for a first down. That is Trip Morrow up to around the 35, maybe 36-yard line. Gain of 12. Move those chains, boys. Yes, a third down conversion. Yeah, it's, uh, I think the either what the first, first Gavin, first or second third down conversion <laughs> uh, uh, of the game for the ball. It had many. I mean, it, it, it's just Wow. Empty backfield, five wide receivers, and we got a flag down. Mitchell makes the catch up and around the 42, 43-yard line. But where this was thrown, I think we got some jersey on the hold. Yeah, and that's, I don't think there's any question about that as uh, Lamar will be penalized uh, 10 yards for holding here, and this will make a uh, first and 20 coming up. 
Yep, it's going to be a hold. So what was a potential six-yard game will now be a loss of 10 on the penalty, and it'll be first and 20. Well, that that's a killer because it, it's been it's been trouble for our Lamar Raiders to get first and ten. Now we got to get a first and twenty. Five wideouts. I would say the running game has completely been flushed right now. Bond back to throw again. Throws it down the field. He's got a man up to the 40. 45. First down catch is all the way across midfield at the 50 down to the 48 yard line. That's Drew Mitchell. Hey. I, Drew Mitchell I, with a first down. Yeah, Mitchell ran about a, a, a skinny post right across the middle, and Wyatt Bond put it right there in, in, in Drew Mitchell's bread basket. First and 10, Lamar. Ball's just across the, uh, to the uh, Pie 49-yard line. Empty backfield again, five wide outs. Bond looks. Get rid of it, Wyatt. He throws it, and it is caught, I believe, by yep. Sully Reed. you darn right it is. First down, Lamar, down at the Kapaya 30 Seven yard line. Oh boy, uh, Raiders uh, are starting to heat up here. Yep. I mean, it's uh, finally Lamar showing signs of life offensively, getting a couple of big pass plays in a row, and uh, just like that, uh, Lamar's got a first and ten at the Capaya, uh, 38, 37 yard line. Five wideouts again. Bond back to throw. Throws it complete to Drew Mitchell. Drew Mitchell's inside the thirty-five, and he's going to be taken down near the thirty-yard line. That's going to be about six, seven yards on first down. And the Raiders have some flow going for the first time tonight. Absolutely, and uh, they the the cornerback from Capaya was off the line of scrimmage right there, and uh, and Wyatt hit hit uh, Drew Mitchell uh, right between the numbers, and a nice gain of about. Uh, uh, six yards right there. Sets up a second down and four. Big catches on this drive by Drew Mitchell, Sully Reed, and Trip Morrow have rolled us down the field close to the 30. On second down and a short four, Bond steps up, throws it across the middle. He's got Morrow! Five! Boom. Touchdown, Lamar! Boom. Touchdown! Raiders! 31 yards! Pay him off, Trip Morrow! And the Raiders are back in this sucker 21-13 to with 6.45 to go in the third quarter. Yeah, I mean, just, I mean, Morrow uh, was in the slide on the far side of the field, and, and they lost him. And a perfect throw right there by uh, Wyatt Bond. And, and all of a sudden, folks, Lamar is back in this ball game 21-13. to Big extra point. Everything matters right now. Snap back. We're waiting on it. It is clean, but Kapaya jumped early on that far side. They had a man rushing on the far side, so they jumped into the neutral zone on the kick. Don't even think about going for two. Jacob just kicked the extra point. Yep, absolutely. Yep. <laughs> Don't even think about it. <laughs> He'll hear that on the playback and be like, yeah, well, we're still going to go for the PAT. So, but, uh, wow, what, what, a big, what a big series right there. I mean, ju- I mean you're enormous. All right, so Mara will be in to attempt the extra point, and a big one it is. Still waiting on the snap. Snap back is clean. The kick is up, and the kick is good. So with 6.45 to go here in the third quarter, the Raiders on a 31-yard connection to Trip Morrow has cut this thing down to 21-14 to on the Will Sweat Alpha Insurance scoreboard. Back in 30 seconds on Lamar Raider TV and 97 OKK. Quarter of the ball game that almost drove us all to uh, dip into the bottle a little bit has now come interesting. <laughs> Twenty-one to fourteen, Lamar's trailing it. I thought I could, I definitely could have used a, uh, <laughs> something in the first half, but uh, but, but somehow the Raiders but, are still in this thing, and, and, and we're in it. And you know why? Because we we on that offensive drive, folks, we caught the football. Absolutely. Unbelievable! What a laser throw by 
Wyatt Bond to Trip Morrow. All right, the ensuing kickoff is fielded at the 19 by Kapai. They're bringing up the field, the 25-30. Get him down, boys. And Morrow and company on special teams will take him down. Of course, that being little Morrow, we always have to say that. Luke Morrow leads the special teams attack there. All right, Drew, we got the interception on the other end. We cashed in on the long drive down the field. Big catches by Reed, Morrow, Mitchell, and company. And now this defense is going to have to answer the bell again. Well, I mean, absolutely. Lamar really, for the first time of the night, has gotten the momentum of this football game. Uh, now trailing 21-14. to 14. Got, got to continue to stay aggressive. We cannot, as you said during the pregame, we cannot give up any explosive plays going forward. We got to be solid in open field tackling as well. Here's the handoff to Grayer, and he is going to be, wow, somehow he gets out of there and still is pushing down. down the field. Nobody can get him down. Look at this. Rugby scrum across the 45, and he's got a first down. Boy, he should have been stopped back at the 39-yard line, but that's going to be a gain of 13 up to the 46. Holy smokes. Well, I mean. That, we, that we, was just, wow. I mean, Grayer just got behind the big – the, the big uglies on the you know, left side of the offensive line, and just we could not bring him down. And 13 yards later, move the sticks, Kapaya, ball spotted at the uh, uh, 40, 46 yard line. We're approaching six minutes to go here in the third quarter on the Will Sweat Alpha Insurance scoreboard. Lamar has fought back. It's 21 to 14, Kapaya Academy. First down and 10 for the Colonels at their own 46-yard line right at the Kapai logo. Here's the pitch play to Grayer, and nice open field tackle there by Kellen Curley and company, and uh, Grayer is going to be cut down up at the 49-yard line. Nice open field tackle there by Curley to lead the charge on a three-yard game. Well, Grayer, you know, he, he tried to bounce it off to the, uh, here, to the near corner, but he cut it back toward the middle of the field, and we did a nice job of, of – uh, <clears throat> Uh, tackling in the open field right there to limit the gain of about to about three yards, six, sets up a second down at about seven. Well, we got an interception a few minutes ago. How about a fumble right here? Somebody fumble like the football. Somebody. Somebody drop it. Second down and seven. Here's the handoff to Grayer. And nice, nice tackle. Up. Nice tackle up near midfield there by McBrayer. Wyatt McBrayer came in and made the stop. Grayer will gain. About two or three right there, and it's going to bring up a huge money down, third down and five. Well, right now, Lamar is really, I mean, defensively, I mean, they, they've got a little pep in their step, and uh, like I said, but right now, just got to uh, got to step up and make one more play and get the offense back on the field. They bring the bulldozer in. Cole, number 28, is in the backfield now. Folks, this man is a load, and he's going to run it, but uh, he's not big enough. He's going to be chopped down at the line of scrimmage. Ballou and company led the charge, and he might have got maybe a half a yard. So now decision time for Kapaya on fourth down and a long four. Do they dare go for it right here? And uh, nope, they're, they're, they appear to be punting because the punt team is coming onto the field. But appear. watch the f- appear. exactly because right now they know that's coaching staff from Kapai. They know Lamar's now has got the momentum in this ball game, and they may try something here because where the ball is spotted right here, I mean this is right in kind of no man's land. So this could very well be a uh, a, a fake right here. All right, let's make sure we check all the boxes here on special teams. Punter standing back at the 40-yard line here for Kapaya. Clean snap. They will kick it. And it's a nice high-hanging kick. Morrow will drift back and let it bounce. Uh, Get into the end zone. zone. It just got into the end zone for a touchback. Holy, holy smokes. It just got into the end zone for a touchback. Oh, man. So the Raiders get the stop. Yep. Get the ball back. And the offense has an opportunity, if you could believe it, folks, with 3.48 to go in the third quarter, has an opportunity to potentially tie the ball game. I mean, there's uh, you, there's no way you could have told me that Lamar could potentially tie it. If you, folks, if you could just be here uh, unless you're watching this game on the YouTube uh, channel, there's no way the way Lamar played for the better first quarter and a half, there's no way I would think Lamar – could have a chance to tie it the way we play, but that's exactly what we got right now. Empty backfield, running game. I think the forget it. it. I think we're now, like I said, this is going. We're going to vertically uh, challenge them down the field for the remainder of the game. Bond's going to throw it complete to Hussein across the thirty. He's up to the thirty-four yard line. That's a gain of fourteen. The Raiders have some rhythm going, folks. Right, keep the tempo going. Uh, keep go tempo. That's exactly what it looks like we're doing as uh, we're going no huddle right now and i like it i like it all right we got five wide outs again that's gonna be your formation the rest of the night i think 
First down from the Lamar 34-yard line. Bond checks off to a fresh play to the far sideline. Mitchell and Ozane are the two men to the near side here for Lamar. Bond rolls out to the far side, throws it. It's complete at the field across like the 40 to the 42 to Sully Reed. That's going to be a gain of around seven or eight yards. Raiders are getting chunks, but it's coming back. Oh, man. Because of a penalty marker back near the line of scrimmage or back behind the line of scrimmage, that's going to be a hold, a race that would be completion, and the Raiders are way behind schedule again. Well, like I said, uh, that's, that's a big penalty because right there, Lamar offensively, uh, started started something on the drive, but a big holding penalty uh, by Lamar will back him up, and uh, it'll be a first down and about uh, close to 20 coming up. Yeah. Ball spotted at the 24. Man, that's a mega penalty. As we approach three to go here in the third quarter, 21 to 14, Kapai Academy leading it here in Gallman. Five wideouts again for Bond. Bond dumps it off to Drew Mitchell. A little screen play. He's trying like to it. ride around that screen. 30, and Drew's still on his feet all I the like way it. up to around the 35-yard line. That's a gain of 11, so that gets you out of the penalty hole somewhat and makes it uh, more Se- manageable now Se- second and nine. Now, second and nine, you can run anything you want in the playbook right now. Actually, second and eight. They gave a pretty good spot up at the uh, 36. So second and eight right here. Mitchell and Ozane here to the bottom. You got Harrington, Reed, and Morrow. Those are going to be your receivers the rest of the night, I think. Bond back to throw again. Who's going to touch the ball this time? Bond. Run it. Run run it. it, Wyatt. And he will run it. (laughs) We were both encouraging him to run the ball out of bounds up at the 41-yard line. I think he heard us, Drew. Third down coming up. I mean, there was was nobody open down the field, and he he had that side of the field if he wanted it. Finally took it on the last minute. A nice gain of about five yards. We got a third down and two. All right, Bond in the gun. Again, five wide receivers. Bond checks off to a fresh play. 222 to go here in the third quarter. Bond back to throw on third and two and a half. Throwing up the field. Caught by Sully Reed. 35-30. All the way down to the 25. He's fighting off defenders. All the way down to the 24-yard line. First down, Lamar. First down, Raiders. Well, Sully just right going right down the field. Was wide open. A perfect pass once again. Wide Bond just lays it right into Sully's hands. And, folks, I'm telling you, who is this Lamar Raider team? Because we sure didn't see in the first half. This is the Raider Raid right here. Instead of the Air Raid, it's the Raider Raid. First down inside the 25-yard line with a minute 50 to go here in this third quarter. The Raiders once again, five wideouts, no running back. Bond's going to dump it off down here to Ozane. Not a lot of running room. And, well, he got something out of nothing. Ball came free. I think Ozane recovered yeah, so. it. He did down at the 21-yard line. Thank goodness. Thank you, Lord. And that's going to be a gain of two. Well, I mean, I mean, Lamar here in this third quarter, folks, I don't know what was said at that halftime, but I, it, it, the message was sent because this is a different Lamar Raider football team. This is a team that, that is fighting. This is a team that's competing. Their tail's off right now. And, folks, we we are very close to tying this game up. Second down and nine from near the 20. They're going to mark it at the 21 in Kapaya territory with a minute to go before we get to head to the fourth quarter. Bond is going to be sacked. And pocket collapsed around wide, and he's going to be dropped. And now the Raiders are back in somewhat familiar territory. They've been in it all night, and that's going to be third and long. Well, right now, I think right there, Wyatt was a little too impatient right there. If he would have rolled out to the – uh, his his right, he would have bought himself some time and maybe either ran or found somebody open. Third down and 11, going right to it here. Bond is under some pressure, and he's going to fumble the football. Ball is fumbled. I think the Raiders jumped on it back here at the 30-yard line. So now it's going to be fourth down and extremely long at the 30. Drew, this is a tough spot right here, and Jacob Land is going to have the quarter to think about it because – Boy, this is you're in a tough spot here at the 30-yard line. It's fourth down and nearly 20 to go. And he will make that decision, I would think, after we exchange quarters here. So, well, yeah. if it was me, like I said, you, you, you punt this ball away pooch it, and get pooch, it pooch, down pooch, pooch, pooch punt that thing and get it inside the five-yard line. Folks, that is the end of the third quarter. Who would have believed this when we started this ball game tonight, that Lamar would fight their way back, but they have. We head to the fourth quarter. Your score, Kapai Academy 21, Lamar 14. Back after a quick 30-second timeout, 
on Lamar Raider TV and 97 OKK. And Gallman, winner, stays alive in the postseason. Loser, well, moves on to basketball season. 21-14, Kapai Academy leading it. Lamar will be facing a fourth down and very long from the 30. And, Drew, this is in, in kind of in-between mode right Yeah, here. I mean, you can pick, you, you, if you can get it to the Kapai 13-yard line, that will be a first down. It's fourth down and 17 where they've spotted the ball. I w just me, I, I'm punting the ball right here and seeing if you can uh, pooch it, get it inside around the front, maybe the five-yard line. But, folks, I, 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 it, it doesn't look like we're punting the ball. We've got five wide receivers out there on the football field, three to the far, two to the near. We're in shotgun formation, folks. Here we go, fourth and 17 from the 30. All right, Bond in the shotgun. Standing back at his 35 on fourth and 17. We're going. And why it's going to be sacked. That's the last thing that could have happened. He's sacked all the way back at the 41-yard line, Drew. That's the last thing that should have happened right there is a yeah. sack. you got to throw that football away. Even if you throw an interception, you got to throw it up. I mean, you cannot take a sack right there. You just can't. you got to yeah, trust one of your wide receivers may make a play, but uh, nonetheless, back-to-back -back quarterback sacks for Kapaya, and they're offensively was setting up shop, nose of the football touching their 40-yard line. Wow. Big sequence right there. Lamar had every slice of momentum in this football game until we got to this moment right here. Hey, defense has got to come up with another play right here. High formation again. They're going to hand it off to Grayer. Grayer split. Who he about uh, was a man away from going the distance, uh, but he's going to gain about six. He was very close, folks. I mean, I, I mean, a fingernail shy of, of breaking up a huge one, maybe even a touchdown right there for Grayer, for Kapai, and a gain of six, maybe seven, sets up a second down and four. Grayer's going to have to come out of the ball game. He's limping pretty bad. That's, uh -oh. that's, that's big news. That's huge news. for. Uh, that's bad news for Kapai. K.J. Brown will check in in his uh, absence here. He's coming off the field pretty limp after that play. Second down and four. Brown is the new tailback, but we know he's very capable. On second and four, Brown gets the handoff and lowers Nothing. his head. And Nothing. he is going to be slammed to the ground by Wilson Collins along with Luke Morrow. And he might have got a yard at most. And now a very big third down in about two and a half, three yards. Well, folks, we just started the fourth quarter. And somehow, some way, Lamar has found themselves back in this ball game, only trailing Kampaya now 21 to 14. It was 21 to nothing. But uh, a different Lamar Raider football team here in the second half and uh, a big big third and three coming up for the Lamar defense. Brown will be the tailback. Eye formation. One receiver out to the far side. Banks under center for the Colonels. And they're going to play action fake it. Banks is rolling out. He's going to throw it. And he threw it into a lot of Lamar traffic right there. And that is incomplete. And we've got a Lamar player down on the far side, that's, that's that being Ballou. Ballou. And he is, you're going to have to get the National Guard to drag him off the field. And that's going to bring up a fourth down and three here. Ball is spotted at the Colonel 47. It, it Would they dare roll the, dare roll the dice? Uh, it, it appears they are. They, they, they're, they're not sending in. There is an illegal man downfield penalty, by the way, and that's irrelevant because it's declined. 10.27 okay. to go in the football game. Kapai will send their punting unit back out. Once again, the Raider defense answers the bell. Well, right now, again, they appear to be punting. But, uh, appear. <laughs> uh, like I said, uh, Lamar, I'm sure they've got a punt safe call uh, out there right now. Uh, but uh, for uh, uh, Trip Morrow, catch the punt. Punter standing back at the 35. Good clean snap. Kick is on the way, and it is a hanging kick that will land in front of Tripp, okay. and he'll let it bounce, and it will roll dead right at the 
yard line. So that's where the Raider offense will set up shop. 10-15 to go in the football game. Kapai 21, Lamar 14. By the way, Drew, uh, everybody's got their timeout. So, folks, we're keeping up with that as well as we move along. Well, right now, I mean, it, 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 the, the Lamar, right now, I mean, they've got the momentum here in the second half. There's no doubt about that. And uh, we just got to uh, continue to catch the football. We're catching the football much better here in the second half and move the sticks. All right, Drew, one, two, three, four receivers. We're doing a, a much better job offensively by spreading out uh, Kapaya defensively. We're making them guard both sides of the field. Bond in the shotgun, fires it, a little sidearm. Brett Farr throw to Drew Mitchell, and Mitchell is going to slip up across the 25 to the 26-yard line, gain of six. A quick a quick throw and catch to Drew Mitchell, a gain of about six, maybe even seven yards on first down. You know, we, you know, in the first, pretty much for about the first two quarters of this ball game, it, was, it, it seemed like it was first and long, uh, uh, <laughs> second down and long because we couldn't get anything on first down. Now we're starting to get some yardage on first down. Second down and four. Got to get up to the 30-yard line in Raider territory for the first down. Reed is the H back in the backfield along with Wyatt Bond, two receivers to each side here on second down and four. Bond is going to straight up run this football, but, man, nothing. He lost a yard. I, he, Yeah, he lost a yard back to the 25, and now it's third down. Well, and I, like I said, I – I don't, I don't mind him running the ball, but, I mean, it was almost like that. He kind of – I mean, that was a designed quarterback run right there, but he gave it away way too soon. I think they gave him the line of scrimmage, so third down and four. Got to get to the 30 for the first down. Bond in the shotgun. Tried the hard count. Nobody moving. On third down and four. 9.30 to go in the ball game. Bond back to throw. Looks. Fires it down the field. He's got oh, Morrow, God. and Morrow tripped. Trip Morrow tripped on the turf here in Gallman, and that is going to be an incomplete pass. Tough break for the Raiders and, and, as Morrow just simply tripped. And the sad part about it is Morrow had the angle on, on, on the cornerback. He, ha- he had the corner, uh, and, uh, just, uh, and just I guess when he made the cut, uh, he, he tripped and uh, incomplete pass, and uh, – Lamar uh, appears to be punting with 9.24 left to go in the ball game. Kapai leads 21-14. And Kapai has nobody back to return because they're playing punt safe right here, just to be on the safe side, obviously. And Bond has plenty of time to kick this ball, and it's going to be a wobbling kick that is going to take a Lamar roll down inside the 40-yard line, and the Raiders will touch it dead at about the 38-and-a-half, maybe the 39. So nine minutes, 11 seconds to go in the ball game. It is still Kapai 21, Lamar 14. Once again, broken record time. Defense has to answer the bell. Well, I, like I said, I mean, they, they've answered the bell so far here in the uh, second half. They, they are playing awesome football uh, here. And because, uh, I mean, you know at halftime, they know they could have played a lot better oh, yeah. as Absolutely. well. You know that uh, uh, our, our defensive coaching staff had a few words for them as well. All right, folks. We got an interception early. I'm still waiting on my fumble tonight. Boy, that would be a perfect time. Maybe a pitch play, bad pitch, fumble. I'm getting desperate now. From the 39, here's the handoff, a little little jet sweep there to one of their receivers, and they'll get it up to about the 45-yard line. A little wrinkle in their offense gains uh, close to six, seven yards. Yeah, I'll take that six yards because that was a, definitely a new wrinkle in, in Kapaya's offense. We have not seen that jet sweep uh, at any tonight, and uh, they kind of threw a wrinkle at our defense right there, and uh, – I was worried that uh, I was glad that uh, they were only able to only pick up six yards right there. 8.43 and counting. Final quarter, 21-14 to 14, Kapai Academy. Colonels have the football at their own 45-yard line, right on the edge of the Kapai logo here in Gallman. On second down and four, Banks under center, multiple back set. They're going to run that jet sweep again. They will get a first down up near midfield. So now Kapaya's throwing some different stuff now at the Raider defense. We've got a Lamar Raider down, and that is Sean Ozane, who is struggling to get up. Mm -hmm. And uh, he is holding his midsection. He is still down at midfield as the training staff will come out to attend to him. We'll take a timeout with him. 8.22 to go in the injury timeout. 21-14, Kapai Academy back in 30 seconds here on Lamar. A.K.
Welcome back here to the broadcast booth here in Gallman. We have a stoppage of play with 8.22 to go here in the football game. Lamar trailing at 21-14. to 14. The injured Lamar Raider is Sean Ozane, who is uh, still on his backside right around midfield, Drew. And the way that hit happened, uh, maybe he just got the wind knocked out of him maybe, but he's back on his feet slowly walking off to the far sideline. Yeah, that was, that's good news. It uh, looks like, I mean, he's back on his feet walking – back to the Lamar side of the field on his own power. Uh, who knows? Like I said, I, I really couldn't see what exactly happened. I think that he may have, like I said, gotten air knocked out of him. He may have gotten dinged a little bit. But uh, the good news is it, that he, he was walking back to the Lamar sideline on his own. Drew, what adjustments do you make on defense? They're running that jet sweep, doing a lot of misdirection stuff now. Well, you just got, like I said, yeah, you, you've, uh, you've got to cr- crowd the line of scrimmage. They're going to go jet sweep again, far side, and there was a hold. We got mugged back here, but no call, and they're going to get a big gainer inside the 35-yard line. My goodness, Kapaya held us back there. I mean, it was Vince McMahon would have been proud of that hold back there. That's awful. Well, Worst that's, call of the season right there, but it's a first down. Well, right that's now, bad. The, 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 Kapaya took advantage of a missed call right there, and uh, Lamar defensively. Uh, they've, that's about the third time in a row now that they've run that little jet sweep, and uh, we're going to have to make an adjustments on that play. Uh, they, they might be setting us up for a play action pass off that jet sweep coming up. So, like I said, uh, defensively we better know our assignments right here. They're going to go back. Yeah, same formation they've been running with that jet sweep, but this time they're going to run it to this direction with Ainsworth, and he is going to be upended down at the 28-yard line. So now they've got some momentum going now. They're on the Raiders' side of the 30 now with approaching seven minutes to go in the ball game, and now it's getting to be critical time. Yeah, no question about it. As uh, Lamar right now, uh, they're, they, somebody on that defensive side of the field for Lamar has got to step up and make a play because right now, Kapaya offensively, they've got it at the, the ball spotted at the Lamar uh, 27, 28-yard line with 650 uh, left to go in this ball game, and Lamar trailing 21 to 14. As Kapaya breaks huddle now, remember everybody's got all three timeouts here. Multiple back set. They're going to go back to that jet sweep down here to the near side, and this time Lamar reads it beautifully. And we're going to get a holding too. And we're going to get a holding too. And there is a penalty marker down over on the far side of the line of scrimmage. You push them back, even though they lost about two or three yards in the play. You push them back and make it second down and longer right here. But, yeah, that was an obvious hold that they should have called three plays ago. Well, right now, like I said, uh, with second down and long right near, you know, for Kapaya, do they do they put the ball in the air right here? They've only put it in the air a handful of times, Drew, and the last two passes that Banks has attempted, one was intercepted and one was nearly intercepted. So it's, you know, I would say stay to your bread and butter, but, hey, we'll see what unfolds here. Well, right now with uh, we're just under about uh, with 6:25 left to go in the ball game. Kapai leads our Lamar Raiders 21 to 14. Banks under center. They go back to the I formation. Nope, they're going to shift the running back Grayer, who's back into the ball game. They're going to hand it off to him here on the edge, and the Raiders stay home on him. And Grayer is going to be pushed back. He might have lost a half a yard. They blew the play dead. He did squirt free, but uh, they blew the play dead, and it's going to be third down. And we're going to call it Drew. I'm going to say close to 16 yards to go here, as now we're under six minutes to go. Well, th- this is uh, like I said. This is exactly where Lamar defensively. Uh, wants Kapai in a third and very long situation. And uh, I'm just, like I said, it would be risky if Kapai puts the ball in the air right here because if it's an incomplete pass, I mean, it stops, it stops the clock and basically gives Lamar a free timeout. Yeah. Big sequence here as the clock churns, five and a half minutes to go. It is third down and 16 for Kapaya just inside the Lamar 40. They're going to run it a little uh, – Double reverse right here, and oh my goodness, Morrow made the saving tackle inside the 30. They will not get the first down. They double handed it off in the backfield. That it's kind was... of a double sweep almost. They gained a lot of yards on that, but it's not enough for the first down. So now decision time on fourth down and four. Wow, this what? is a monster gamble right here, and it looks like they're going to keep the offense on the field to try to get this first down. Yep, and uh, like I said, uh, a a potential season-defining play coming up by by our Lamar Raiders. 
Fourth and four. Banks is going to hand it off. And didn't get it! He didn't get it down at the 24-yard line as a turnover on downs. First down, Adar! First down, Raiders! Nice job by the Raider defense of staying home right there, Drew. They went to misdirection this entire drive. Hayden Davis made the adjustment, and now with 440 to go, everybody get your oxygen tanks out. Here we go. Well, right now, I mean, there's nothing much else we can ask the Lamar defense. They did their job. Now it's time for Wyatt Bond and this offense to to, uh, get a drive here, and let's see if we can tie this ball game up. Here we go, folks, from the 25. Bond, ooh, he almost got him to jump into the neutral zone. All three timeouts on the board for the Raiders. 21-14, Kapai Academy. The Raider defense gets a stop. Bond, time to throw. Looks, fires, got Morrow, 35, and he's up to the 36. Move those chains, folks. First down, Lamar, first down, Raiders, gain of 11. Yep, and uh, just an easy throw, an easy catch from Wyatt Bond to Trip Morrow that Kapai defensively played back right there, and uh, Wyatt uh, took pretty much took what Kapai gave him. 420 and counting. First down and 10 at the Raider 36 on the near hash mark. Moving left to right as you listen tonight. Bond is going to dump it off. A little screen play. Raiders have running room across the 40 up to around the 42, maybe the 43-yard line. I think that was Drew Mitchell who made the catch right yeah. there. Could be mistaken on that. Actually, it was Ty Harrington, Ty excuse Harrington. me, and that's a nice gainer of seven. All right. Now, like I said, two positive uh, offensive plays in a row. Get, uh, we got a little rhythm going now. We've just got about 3.53 left to go in the ball game. Kapai leads 21-14. Second down and three. Playbook is open right here as the ball is at the Lamar 43-yard line. Bond gets a fresh play. Clock, folks, is at 3.42 and counting on second down and three. Keep Bond clean right here. Bond throws it down the field incomplete. He was throwing over in the direction of Jonathan Hart, and he was running about five yards deeper down the field. Ball was checked up a little uh, more shallow, and now it brings up a third down and, what, about three here? Yeah, I think he was expecting Hart to stop, and Hart Hart just kept on going. All right, third down and three here, 3.35 to go in the ball game. Five wide receivers for Bond. Got to convert here. Three to the near side, two to the far side on third down. And about three yards is a short three here for the Raiders. Bond takes the snap. Back to throw. Dumps it. First down. Up to around the 48-49 yard line. There's Drew Mitchell again. What about Drew Mitchell here tonight? Well, somebody offensively had to step up uh, uh, in this ball game. And Drew Mitchell, a, a defensive player, uh, has now come uh, in, in this second half, has really come onto the scene offensively and has made some big-time catches. From the Lamar 48 on that far hash mark on first down and 10, Bond back to throw. He's under a lot of pressure. He's going to dump it down the field, and it is caught by Hart. Did Jonathan make the catch? Sure yes, did. Yes. Down to the 44-yard line. For, that is going to be a gain of, about eight. wow, seven, eight yards. Big catch by Johnny Hart. Yep, yeah, Hart uh, just uh, on a stop route on the on Lamar side of the field, a gain of a uh, catch of about eight yards, second down and two. And that, look at Kapaya. They need a timeout, Drew. They are winded. Look at this. Yep, they, this, this is right now. Lamar, boy, I'm telling you, Ooh. a completely different Lamar football team here in the second half. And, folks, Lamar, uh, believe it or not, I mean, if you, you, there's no way you could have believed it if you saw seen the first half. But uh, Lamar has shown – uh, that uh, they did come here to compete. They did come here to win this football game. And, folks, I tell you, with 310 left to go in the ball game, uh, Lamar has really, you, you can almost say Lamar has owned yeah. uh, this second half. Start of the fourth quarter up in Startville. It is Startville Academy 27, Leak 24. Wow. Big wow. ball game. And uh, I think the last update we got from uh, the Simpson ball game tonight. Uh, Simpson had clawed back to take a 14-7 lead down the stretch in the ball game. Wow. So, boy, we got classic ball games up and down the bracket tonight in 5A. Well, like I said, folks, I mean, Lamar's got a second down and two from the uh, Kapaya. I uh, can't see where 40, spot, 44. 40, Kapaya, 44-yard line, 310 left to go in the ball game. Kapaya leads 21-14. to 14. All right, second down and two. What do they say? Fasten your seat belts. Here we go. Yep. Bond in the shotgun on second and two. Back to throw. Looks. Bond is going to run with the football, and he is going to get the first down on the running play. play, But we've got 
a penalty marker I'm, I'm, I'm just wondering if, if, if Kapaya defensively, because the flag's in the secondary. It's down they, here. Yeah, it's down at the 34. Were they holding us? This is a big one here. What do we got? This is a monster penalty. They are signaling they're, Kapaya. They're, they're signaling Kapaya. So, hold well, Regardless, on. it was going to be a first yes. down. Yep, it is holding on Kapaya defensively. First down, Lamar, regardless. Well, and and going back to the actual play itself, I loved the fact that yep. Wyatt right there, that nobody was open down the field. He used his legs in the running department and picked up a big first down. So after the 10-yard mark off, it will be dropped at the Kapaya 34-yard line. 3.02 to go in the ball game. Far hash mark for Bond and company. Where every receiver on the roster is at each position right here. Bond back to throw, and they brought an all-out blitz, and they're going to drop him back at the 40-yard line. I think Kapaya said enough of this mess, and they brought the house right there. Yep, and folks, Wyatt is limping. He turned his ankle right there. I saw when he did it. Uh, they, uh, like I said, he got twisted around on the tackle, and uh, he's limping. But folks, I mean, he's he's all right. He's he's, but uh, he did twist his ankle. Loss of six, second and sixteen. The clock does run after the sack, though. Bond back to throw again. Throws it down the field, and there's a man, and it is incomplete. It is incomplete down the field. They had McBrayer. It went in and out of his hands, incomplete. I thought Lamar got away with a hold on the offensive line on the left edge, but no penalty flag drop. That would have been disastrous. And now it's third down and 16. Not a bad throw there by Bond. He put it right uh, no, there for McBrayer. I, 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 yeah, I mean, it, the ball was right. You couldn't have thrown a better ball. I mean, you could not have thrown a better ball right there. Uh, McBrayer's just got to catch it. So third and 16, 226 to go in the football game. Raiders – Bottom line, you got to pick up yards here to make this a manageable fourth down, if you can. From the 40, Bond under a lot of pressure, and he's got to throw it away. That's going to be intentional grounding. He's out of the tackle box. Yeah. Either. Was there a receiver in the neighborhood? Did he get it past the line of scrimmage, too? There's a lot to discuss here for the officials. The Kapaya coaching staff is not happy. Everybody's beating on the walls up here, too. But uh, regardless, it's fourth and 16. Drew, I know you're probably going to go for it right here. 2.19 to go. You got all three timeouts. Would you pooch punt it back? But, nope, they're going to go for it. Yeah, <laughs> Forget I, what I, I just I, thought. Yeah, I, like I said, they're going – like I said, uh, fourth down, because there's no guarantee this may be the, our last play offensively. So, why not go for it? Fourth down in a chunk right here. And fourth down from the 40. Got to get down close to the 25. Bond throws it down the field. Trip Morrow's there. And he got it. made the catch. First down, Lamar. First down, Lamar. You got to be kidding me. Trip Morrow was double covered and made the catch down at the dead gum 18-yard line. Oh, my word. What a play. My gosh. Trip Morrow jumped over two guys and made the play. Oh, my gosh. The catch of the century by Trip Morrow. The Raiders are now back in the mix here in the red zone with 158 and counting in the ball game. First and 10 after a big catch. Here's the pass across the middle to Drew Mitchell. He's down to the 11-yard line. All right, let's take a breath here. 148 and counting to go. 21-14, Kapai Academy. Well, I mean, right now, you, you got you, – don't worry about the time. You got plenty of time. Just make sure – that everybody knows what we're doing. And Kapai is going to take a time out. Let's take one with him. We need to catch our breath. Back in 30 seconds here on Lamar Raider TV in 97 OKK. All right, folks, we've got our oxygen. We're ready to go. Second down and about three yards to go. The line of scrimmage for Lamar miraculously is down at the Kapai 11-yard line. Drew, 139 to go in the ball game, down 21-14. Yeah. Well, right now, I mean, like I said, <laughs> offensively just keep doing what we're doing. I mean, spread them out, throw it up, and make a play. Five wide receivers bond on second down and three at the Kapai 11. Back to throw. 
Fires it. Got a man, Sully Reed, at the five, and he is down to the four-yard line. First down, Lamar. First down, Raiders. Sully Reed targeted again. We got a, a, a nice little out route to Sully Reed, and a nice uh, right now that throw was enough for a first down. Lamar's got a first and goal at the Capaya three-yard line. Bond in the shotgun, five wide receivers. Here we go, folks. First down and goal inside the five-yard line. Bond checks off to a fresh play. Clock is at 117 and counting. That is almost irrelevant right now. First and goal at around the four. Bond waits on the snap here. Here we go. Bond back to throw. Looks, fires it down here to the near side, and it's caught! Touchdown, Lamar! Touchdown, Lamar! Touchdown! Raiders tie Harrington with a four-yard touchdown pass. So now we got a penalty marker down. It is well after the play here. Oh, no. Now, this could potentially be big for Lamar. Oh, no. If this is a celebration penalty, this could be huge. So hang on just a New York minute. Oh, my goodness. If that's the case, this is brutal. Kapaya is clapping. Oh, this is. That is an unsportsmanlike celebration on Lamar. And that's going to back the Raiders oh, no. up. So that takes a potential two-point conversion we were thinking about off the board. And now, with a minute three to go, it's 21-20. to 20. Oh, no. This makes the extra point very difficult. That flag came in late. And, Drew, we celebrate a little bit too much down there, evidently. Yeah, but unless we – I mean, come on, man. Unless we did something that I didn't see, I mean, this, come on. This is the playoff, man. You got, I mean, this got to be just blatant. Well, this is the biggest PAT of the season. It's further back after the 15-yarder. The kick is back, and the kick is good. He got it with a minute three to go in the ball game. Trip Morrow, who's been Mr. Everything here tonight, kicks an extra long extra point. Somehow, some way, God bless America, it's 21-all with a minute three to go. Are you kidding me? Another flag flies. Wait a minute. Now, they are just throwing flags like crazy now. uh, This has got to be a sideline warning. They better not mark it 15. It better just be a sideline warning. I mean, come on, man. The guy's got got to understand. They got to let this thing play out and not get too ticky-tack down the stretch here. Because if that's a 15-yarder on the kickoff, this thing is going to get very interesting. Yep, they're going to call it a personal foul oh. on Lamar. you got to be kidding me. Oh, my God. Two 15-yard penalties in a dramatic moment in the football game, and this time it is on the Lamar sideline. Drew, it's the biggest kick oh, of the season. You oh, save your on. season, and the officials have to throw that at that moment. You've oh. got to be kidding me. People, I mean, I, like I said, we're up here. We don't know what was done, what was said. But, I mean, come on, man. Folks, People got to know the situation. Trip Morrow was basically the man on that drive. Trip Morrow on fourth and, what, 17, made a big uh-huh. catch on double coverage. Ty Harrington catches the touchdown pass, and then a 15-yard mark off on the celebration. Uh-huh. Lamar kicks the extra long extra point and ties it at 21, and now a 15-yard penalty after the extra point was good. The Raiders got to kick this thing off. From own 20. From the own. T- That's going to give Kapai an excellent field position. And well, they're actually going to mark it at the 25, looks like. Yeah, because 5 to, yeah, it's 25. 25? Kick, yeah, 25, because okay. you usually kick it at the 40, so. That's a big penalty, folks. Still though, still, though, Kapaya, Kapaya should, should get really good field position out of this. And remember, folks, they've got one timeout, a minute three to go in this football game. Trip Morrow kicked the ever-living daylights out of this thing, son. Trip Morrow, folks. Drew, no matter how this thing unfolds here in the last few moments, Trip Morrow has been Mr. Everything here tonight. Drew, we've seen a lot of single performances by Lamar Raiders. This, this ranks right up there. Morrow will kick this thing oh off, and Kapai is returning it with Ainsworth on this edge over here, and he will be dropped at the Colonel 47-48 yard line. So that took a handful of seconds off, 55 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. Now, Drew, Drew, I was down the field during warm-ups tonight, and I saw their kicker. Oh, he's got a he's, he's got, got a foot. Dec- he's got a decent leg he's on. He's got him. a foot. He so. Is. They've got one timeout. They will have the football 
like I said, is going to be spotted at the Colonel 47. Capaya's uh, only got one timeout. They got out. one timeout. Raiders have three, which doesn't matter. I'd love that fumble right now. <laughs> you know. Well, defensively, we just we, we cannot give anything a uh, trick play date down the field. Banks is going to throw it, and they got a big play down the field to the 40. That'll stop the clock momentarily down at the 40. That's a gain of 14. It, it was that play-action pass off the jet sweep. Banks gets the fresh play. Now the clock runs now with 45 seconds as they get a fresh play in and get to the line quickly. Banks will be under center now from the 40, and they're going to hand it off to Grayer. He's got running room, and he is down to the 20-yard line, and now oh boy. Kapai Academy smells it at the 19. And that – not now, now is right now. <laughs> boy, does that 15-yard unsportsmanlike, uh, boy, does that, is that, that hurts. a big penalty. That hurts now. 26 seconds, 25 as they come up to the line at the 19. 20, 19, and we have got a timeout called by uh, Jacob Land. Good timeout. Uh, excellent timeout. Excellent timeout. Because right now, defensively, you've got, you've got to settle the troops down. You've got to. Um, right now, you've got to settle the troops down, make sure everybody knows what they're doing, and, uh, and, 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 and make sure we don't give up another yard. At least make this field goal kicker for Kampaya. Make it as hard as it possibly can be. So, folks, let's reset the situation. If you tuned away after it was 21 nothing, shame on you. And I don't blame you if you did. But all of a sudden, Lamar has tied this thing up at 21 all. That's right, 21 all with 19 seconds to go in the football game. It will be first down and 10 for Kapaya, just a shade inside the Lamar 20-yard line. Now, the coaching staff for Kapaya may be talking to the officials about maybe a second or two leaked off the clock maybe, but they're going to keep it at 19 seconds right well, now. It, I mean, if they don't get another yard, it would be right around a 34, 35-yard field goal. And he's got the leg to do it too, by the way. Boy, can the ball just squirt free? Can something happen tonight for Lamar? Here's the handoff to Grayer. Big block. Cuts it back inside. He's gone. Touchdown, Kapai Academy. And that will pretty much wrap up the season, barring some kind of a miracle for the Lamar Raiders. He's special. They're running back Grayer. Made a big run and drew the 15-yard penalty. Gave them great field position. They march it down the field. One play action pass and a handful of runs later, and Kapaya is potentially moving on to the next round. Boy, what a heartbreaker. Wow. That's, that's, that, that, that stinks. That sucks. Extra points on the way here by Baker. It is up, and it is good. I'm just going to go back to the 15-yard penalty on the far sideline. I would love to get some clarification. See, they're celebrating right now, all running off the field on the sideline. Where's the 15-yarder on that? Just, I'm just saying, if you're going to police this thing, police it both ways. I'm just saying. And now they've got foot players throwing helmets all over the field. If you're going to do this right, do it both ways, I'm saying. But anyway... Well, I, I, my, my argument is is that the, it's a, it's the a, officials it, got to understand the situation. It is high school athletes I in mean, a dramatic a, moment it's a second. where they were down 21 nothing, mm -hmm. and you're going to throw that flag while you just it, did the impossible to tie the thing up, and you throw that flag. Ba I, baffles me. I, I don't know. Like I said, I don't. I, I mean, like I said, we don't know what happened. We're up here, but uh, if it was just – team that that was excited on the field or whatever you, you, you gotta you gotta put the keep the flag in your pocket this is the playoffs this isn't week two or week three this is november well barring a big return the raiders got to pull a rabbit out of a hat here with 13 seconds to go maybe 13 will be lamar's lucky number here tonight is going to be kicked down the field to Ozane. He will field it at the 20. Hey, he returned a punt last week. Let's see if he can do it again here. He's across the 30, 35, and he is going to be wrestled down at about the 42-yard line. So with five seconds left, Raiders probably have one play left in the bag, and it's going to have to be a miracle. Yep. I mean, this is that old, the old 999 scene pass or the yep. Hail Mary. But uh, like I said, we're going to have to have a, uh, a, a prayer to be answered pretty quick. All right, so Bond will lead the troops out. 
here to try to make some magic happen. Boy, what a tough pill to swallow here tonight for the Raiders if this thing ends the way we think it's about to end. And now Kapaya smartly will take a timeout to set up their defense because obviously you don't want to give up a big play on that end of the field. Man, what a heartbreaker tonight for Lamar, Drew, after all that transpired in this football game. For it to come down to something like that just blows my mind. Well, I, like I said, it, 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 it's – Unless something was said I, verbally. I mean, like I said, we, we don't know what was said on the Lamar sideline. We don't know after the PAT, but uh, like I said, it, it, but the flag was thrown. Why, we don't, we'll never know. Um, but I just wish that the officials would have understood the situation a little bit better. Yeah, I agree did. totally with that. It's a – You've got 15, 16, 17-year-old kids in a dramatic playoff game. And, you, Drew, you just had a fourth down and 17 conversion. You score a touchdown. Then you kick an extra long extra point, yeah. And that's when they flag the Raiders 15 yards. Well, and like I said, usually it would just be, hey, sideline warning. You get one of those, we play on. Yeah. If they'd have done that, I'd have been perfectly fine with that. Yeah. Last play of the season, five wide receivers from the 42. You're going to see a bunch of flea flickers right here. Reed's going to throw it back here to Bond. Double pass. Bond is looking down the field. He's running out of all kind of options. He's going to throw it down the field to Trip Morrow. He makes the catch, and Morrow is going to flea flick it back. A lot of flea flickers. Ty Thomas has it. Ball's on the field, and Capaya has it, and they will go down, and that is the way the season is going to come to an end. Heartbreak tonight in Gallman. Felt like this one might have got stolen from the Raiders. But in any event, final score is Kapai Academy 28 and Lamar 21. We'll take a timeout here on the broadcast. Very questionable penalty after the touchdown by the Raiders and the extra point. We'll talk more about that in the postgame. Of course, we'll wrap up this 2023 season and talk about this very special group of seniors after we pay off the rest of our sponsors here on Lamar Raider TV and 97 OKK. As the 2023 Lamar Raider football season has come to a crushing end here tonight. Final score is Kapai Academy 28 and your Lamar Raiders 21. And uh, really to unpack this ball game, it was a definitely a tale of two halves here tonight. Lamar played probably its worst football of the entire season in the first half. And, Drew, I'll just be honest with you, I thought they played their best half of football in the second half. I thought they played – Heart football. They play pure heart football in the second half and uh, came back and somehow, some way, just made a few plays and tied this thing up. And then, of course, the controversy, and I mean controversy, down the stretch right there of the ball game. Well, I mean, you alluded to, I mean, it was, uh, first half, uh, the Lamar Lamar Raiders looked like they were not, they didn't want to be here. They did, they looked uh, defeated before they before they even took the field. They looked just, they, they just, they looked about as bad as you could look. And somehow, some way, a late score in the second quarter cut Kapai's lead to 14 at 21 to seven. But the second half, Lamar just came out and really showed what they were. What they showed what Lamar football was about. Uh, they came out and, and, and completely flipped the script and uh, really competed. Uh, they played the hearts out in the second half, and uh, 
with about uh, four, I say, what, probably about a minute left to go in the ball game. Lamar ties it. Um, and by the way, converted a fourth down and 17 to trip Morrow somehow, yeah. some way. Yeah, it's, and, and tied it uh, at 21 after a 35 yard uh, extra point after the first unsportsmanlike conduct. <laughs> yeah. But uh, apparently, we don't know what was said on the Lamar sideline. Evidently, somebody did something. Lamar was called for another unsportsmanlike conduct, which that gave a, you know Kapai a really good field position on the kickoff. Season has come to an end, and uh, I, I'm just. Um, I'm sick. I'm, sick, I'm sick for the kids. I'm, I'm really sick, I'm for, sick the for the kids, kids to, to have. I'm going to say it. I might get in trouble for it, but Drew, to have adults take it away from you is is not good. And well, I'm just going to say it just like that. So. Like, like I said, it's just it's a shame the way the game ended. And I'll I personally just will leave it at that. And uh, like I said, we we uh, we the second half we finally you know we caught some uh, finally caught the ball. Uh, we moved the sticks a lot better. I thought defensively we were a lot better. Uh, but uh, we just, uh, you know, we we ran out of big plays down the stretch, and I, again, the, the the play, the the, the call that that uh, late in the fourth quarter is unfortunately is going to be what's talked about after a thriller of a football game. And but, it shouldn't come down and, to that. And, it should come down to the kids settling it between the lines, the two football teams, and not these officials. I'm and, sorry that's the way it should happen. So, but, but it is what it is. It can't change the outcome now, but uh, it is what it is. Well, Drew, we do this every year when we uh, wrap up a season. We uh, talk about this senior class. This is a special group of guys right here, Drew, because uh, as we look at the Lamar Raiders,